Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. Say special, th uh, special thanks to ZL09 for the follow. Wide open. Let's shout a little bit. Welcome, Imperameter. So we were not too too far into the game. I actually don't think I showed off the very intro of the game. We started up the game. I don't remember if we did anything else. Sorry, chat. One moment. Anyway, sorry about that chat. Unexpected phone call. Turned out to be junk. I'm also setting up uh, something in the background. I don't think we watched the intro to the game itself. Like, we, we started up the game, we watched that intro, but I don't remember if we watched the other portion of it or not. I don't think we did. Give me one second as I get it set up here. Let me do a fast reset. I think that's actually faster than waiting for it to go through. It does play it by default in the beginning, but it takes quite a while for it to go through otherwise. So if we just don't touch anything, it should automatically play. Look at that. Square Electronics. Not Square Enix. So there we go. Let's watch the intro for the first time, I think. There we go. Thank you, Dango, for reminding not to mess up the placement. Yeah, there are... I want to say 25. I haven't actually counted. But there is a lot of things we have to place between now and the end of the game. I'm going to put it that way. And if at any point I place them too early... Bad things will happen. And especially if I place them in the wrong spot, then I might lock myself out of quests later. 
This is not a very friendly game when it comes to getting all the uh, quests for sure. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. I believe... I was ready to place yet another thing down. Yes. I should be there. The last quest that we did should have been Path of the Blacksmith, which we completed. I technically could save up food items to create a super item. I don't know, Chad. Is that, like, is that cheating to actually understand the crafting system in this game to some extent? There's some pretty obtuse things you could combine together. Like, if I put enough produce down, for example, into the into the mixture, I could basically give myself, like, a plus 10 to everything. And then also get permanent XP share, but it also gives me resistance to everything. I was contemplating not even using it at all, honestly, in the playthrough. Because if, if you do manage to basically decode it, uh, the game becomes insanely easy. So I was thinking probably of just skipping it altogether. Other than to showcase it just literally once for the sake of showcasing. Like, there's a pretty ridiculous combination involving, I think it's like the Cabadillos and the Spring Nanas. And I can substitute out a couple items if I want to, but essentially it gives me an item that's better than anything I could get in the rest of the game. And we honestly, I think, could make it right now if I really wanted to. I think I... well, I might have fed the produce that I needed by accident. Not that it really matters. So anyway, I believe this is where we need to place this. So we need to place down the broken doll, because I want to go to a very specific location. You know what the sad part is? I remember coming back here in many, many playthroughs. I wonder if I can actually guess the right path, despite having not played it in a while. Because I did a lot of, like, reset runs, because I was trying to figure out the uh, event order a long time ago. And, uh, yeah, I ended up redoing this one quite a bit. A human is here. I wonder if he knows that we're not completely asleep. What does that mean? Enough of that. The wars are long past. We should rest. What's wrong? Stop that whining. Those who die with desire in their hearts will wander the earth forever. You. You're an artificer. Don't you play with our powers. We'll get a revenge someday. The Infernal Doll. I, I love the morbid implications, too. Friends are waiting for you if you follow the path to the Jack in the Box, the Teddy Bear, the Doll, the Jack in the Box, the Rocking Horse will guide you. So, yeah, it's basically a rote memorization game. I remember writing this down. I, I probably, if I brought out my old manual for this game, I probably have this order there still. Oh, I want to get that treasure. Long ago, we would fly into the air and battle against the fairies. Of course, the enemy was strong, but I didn't think I would lose, so I wonder, why am I here now? But anyway, we'll just continue to go through. Hey, look here, not there. Hear the wound. This is what keeps me going. I love the, I love the morbidness of this place. It's pretty messed up, actually. Yeah, like, li like listen to this one. Oh, the pain. Winning, losing, and then winning again. All we could do was fight. It hurts. It hurts. Oh, see, it's just a happy little junkyard. Nothing to think about or worry about. Magical meat. I'm getting sleepy. Wonder what I'll be the next time I'm granted life. FET toy house, something like that. Not that way. Hmm. How many lies does that make? Should get into a fight soon. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I got grabbed. Not what I wanted. 
Man, they are just eating my inputs literally and figuratively. Let's do some power strikes here. This should be fun. True Sphere? Wait a minute, did I get an arbitrary upgrade? I love arbitrary upgrades. Oh, look at that chat. So it comes with thrust, uppercut, jump. I didn't really talk about this before because there's a lot of weird mechanics in this game, but essentially when we go to create our equipment, we can actually choose what attacks we learn. I think I just get a literal plus one to damage. It's not a big upgrade, but we'll take it. Be happier dying on the battlefield than sitting here rotting from the wind and rain. See, they're so happy. Got Wicked Eye. Such a coward in the war. Always ran. Everyone laughed at me. Don't come any closer. So if you start talking to me, you'll get laughed at too. Um... I actually don't remember what to say to him. Stay here? I think Back Off might teleport me back to the beginning of the dungeon, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, this, this is the treasure I never understood how to reach. I think I have to come from the other side, but you know what? I don't care about that. Most of the items in this game don't super matter, sadly. How long must I stay here? I can still fight, Pokio. Tell me to fight. Pokio. Yeah, just some trauma. Don't worry about it. Yeah, there's the thing that I... See, this is the thing I, I had to fight repeatedly. It's got a lot of HP. But it also potentially gives insane XP. I think it could also drop that sword that's in it. Oh, we just got rust that time. That's unfortunate. So we should be there. I only have remembered slash listened to the thing that they mentioned. So yeah, I'm still warming up with abilities, so apologies if I mess things up. So jump in lunge. Double checking should be all that I need for somersault. I don't have that right. Yeah. Okay. So we'll continue to use it for now. We need to just use them an arbitrary amount of times anyway. I have like a partial list of abilities that are needed to unlock the skills. The best way to, to actually we'll talk about it in the battle. Welcome, Kavishu. Plus, you don't mess up with the overall map. Yeah, actually, that's not 100% true, Kalvishov. You could trigger events in a bad order and get locked out of journal entries, which will probably happen in this playthrough. I have no faith that uh, we'll get 100% journal entries. Now fight! Because there's one specific event in particular that makes it very annoying to get 100% entries. It's unfortunate when it happens. Also, there's a couple of quests I could do in the wrong order and get the bad ending on them. That's also really sad when that happens. Got the Sun Crystal. Easy clear. Got AF Tome of Magic. GG. I never understood what that was supposed to be. Is it like a mummy? Like, what is that? My oh my. Thank you. The toys believe that to die is to be saved, so things ended up for the best. Easy event. We do have to make our way back there, potentially, in the future. And the instinct is to go back there. I think the first time I played, I went back there immediately, because I was like, wait a minute, what was that location? But we're going to deal with that later. So finally, we're going to go to the quest that most people start with, but I want to make sure we get this event written down. I believe the magic number is 10 events. Once you do 10 events, something will happen in the house. So I need to make sure I'm doing something very specifically at that point. A little wiggle movement there. Junkie. 
out of paranoia, I make sure that he writes on the note. I, I might have messed that up in the previous playthrough, too. Because I remember saving and we quit. I don't know if he actually wrote it down or not, to be honest with you. So I could have already messed it up by uh, breaking it up into sessions. As I said before, it's very easy to mess up the events. Yeah, if I really have to redo it, I could redo it from there, I guess. I prefer not to, though. Okay. So I believe... We should just go back to Domino now. Yeah, the reason we do this for later is because we want to place the item we're about to receive now right next to the junkyard. while also maintaining, as I said before, X number of events. So basically, I'm going to be leading into the right side, but then we're going to jump all the way to the left side after this of the map. Again, it's a very unconventional order to try to get all the quests. So I believe it doesn't super matter what I say to them here. I think it just determines some di small dialogue differences. Let's talk to Elazel. Silence! Do not interrupt! Speak up! Don't make me angry. She dot dot dots. What are you hiding? So we could stop him, ask what happened. Let's ask him what happened. A friend is missing. Protector asks about the friend. I guess ask about the friend. She wears a white dress and has long hair. She's like a sister to me. I'm worried. Offer compassion, let's search for her. Let's say let's search for her. Together with me? But you mustn't. No. I, I would be grateful. She dot dot dots. What? Here. Get the artifact jade egg. Amount of dots of places to go in this game made me dizzy on first play. It's something. Honestly, first time playing, it doesn't really matter unless you know that you can miss events. Because then it's a very relaxed playthrough. So, what's this? It smells like pearl. Let's hurry. What a weird statement. So we should now have a Lazel in our party. We we'll briefly look at their abilities, I suppose. Attack gauge plus. That one's always fun. So they come with single-handed sword, which I think is one of the better ones. Nothing too crazy with abilities. They got Bash and Tackle. We're working our way there, sort of. She dot dot dots us. I love how we just, we basically just go to the junkyard and just refuse to acknowledge everything that was there. We're like, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, if I want to, I can see, like, the different mono levels of the different places. Which, on a first playthrough, doesn't mean anything. And honestly, even replaying the game, it's kind of questionable. So just to triple check, I should be placing it here. Yes. There are 26 artifacts I have to place at some point. So now we're placing number eight. It is kind of tricky to get the order correct as well, because there's a couple artifacts that require us to be in water. So one of them we're placing basically all the way at the end of the game, which is kind of crazy. Because normally when you play this game, this is like one of the first things you place down. Like, I, I think the first time I played the game, the dealing with the pirates, which we haven't seen too much of outside of the intro, 
Uh, that was probably like my eighth or ninth artifact compared to this order where it's going to be number 25, which is pretty absurdly different. So I can't say I've ever done this order before. But it is what it is, I suppose. Uh, so let's go to the... the McKeeve Caverns. This usually is the first dungeon that most people play, but we are playing it kind of late in the game, which I found kind of funny. Yeah, fortunately it's basically just a whole bunch of rights and then one set of lefts. The first dungeon is not meant to be complicated to get through. The Lost Princess is now triggered. In fact, I think this is the tutorial guy there. Since brilliance nearby. Must be Pearl. We should hurry. Ask me anything. Yeah, so so the game tries to predict what will be your first location. So if you recall when we were on the Luan Highway, he's here because technically we could start with this one or we could have started with the highway. So this is just kind of their catch-all to make sure that you learn about fighting techniques. But I believe we gotta go downwards a few times first. Oh, look at that wiggle movement. That's crazy. You can tell the camera can't even keep up with us when we do it correctly. Oops. <laughs> Might as well as just style on them a little bit. Look at that rapid stab. Ooh, that rhythm was so disgusting. 10 out of 10 for rhythm chat. I'm just gonna pop the AoE here. Oh, that one actually somehow dodged. It's actually crazy. I don't think we're gonna properly level the Chocobo. I think I'm not gonna worry about it. I believe now I have to go downwards. So we're seeing how much of this is memory. I just have like an event order list and a couple of dialogue options. Oh, I'm getting inter interrupted, that's unfortunate. If I do a normal thrust, just to showcase. Oh, pff, of course I get denied. I get really long pauses after the thrust. So we're doing a special cancel in order to rapid thrust. And it saves a lot of time if you do it properly. I can also cancel my attack somewhat with the jump skill. Somersault learn. Okay, that's good. Go to the next ability on our list. I basically just want to showcase all the different abilities. Some of the other ones are kind of eh, so I'm going to use them like maybe literally once in combat. So now that we have Somersault, we have back roll, back flip. I guess we should go for Moonsault. Should be high jump plus somersault. So basically, I, I meant to mention before. So the game tracks in the background how many times you've used a weapon in combat and how many times you brought a skill into combat. Now, if two skills create another skill, you get extra points towards a third skill, is my under basic understanding of it. So essentially, we can't get super spear skills until we use the spear X number of times regardless, which is usually the big factor. But somewhere between 8 and 16 times with the other abilities, we need to leave them equipped in order to learn them. So if I want to make sure I get all the abilities in the game, I do need to use these for a decent amount of time. Now for a boss that should be familiar to the chat. <laughs> I love the Chocobo walking slowly and making the cutscene take longer. I'm actually getting trolled. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong, wrong area. Not this one. It's like case sits or something. Do Kate. Oh, I missed. Oh, I mistimed. I deserve that. I 
just started getting my rhythm back. I love how the AI actually baited him to shoot it in the wrong direction. That to me is the funniest thing ever. So the downside with this technique is it doesn't stun the enemy as consistently as other things. So for example, if I have nunchucks or fist, I can pretty easily stun the boss. But we're going to take advantage of the cancel moves here to do more damage to the boss. GG. Guess I'll do some moon salts. That ability is pretty fun. And because we share XP, everybody levels pretty quickly. Dragon's Bite learned. Nice. Pearl! Where are you? Elazel? Is your core alright? See, now we have context for the core. From our earlier conversation. Yes. I told you not to go wondering by yourself. How did you end up here? I was, um, just thinking about things. You don't need to think anymore. <laughs> Sorry, I was having VP2 flashbacks on that one. Right now, you should just stay by my, safe by my side. But that's enough. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sick up for Pearl, sick up for Lazel. Hmm. Uh, let's suck up for Pearl. You stay out of this. Who is that? Just someone who helped me find you. A strange kind of person. Oh. Well then, let's go. But, see you around. I love the Chocobo frozen mid-walk animation. Um, th thank you. We're going. I'm sorry. I I'm going too. Just strange kind person? Yes, pretty much. Thank you, Trey. This is for all you've done for me. Got the stone eye. The Lost Princess. Alright, so here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cross our fingers and hope that the cactus is home. <laughs> Just, I want you to know, chat, that's my strategy. Like, we, I don't think we'll miss clearing all the events of the game, but the cactus diary is absurd. So there's a very strong possibility we have done 10 events, and this will cause the cactus to not be here. And then we will be quote-unquote wrecked. And the reason this happens is that we've placed the junkyard down, and we've cleared X number of events. Oh, Whatever, I'm not restarting. <laughs> right, chat? This is what I'm talking about. See that? Missed. So sad. Every time, chat. I don't know how avoidable that is, to be honest with you. I want- that- that's the true mana experience. We're just gonna keep going. It's fine. RIP Diary. Let's see, I think we gotta talk to you. Huh? My broom. <laughs> it's gone! She just yeeted herself off the platform. My broom's gone. Daddy's broom. Gone. I bet you just lost it. Wait a sec, how could I lose a big broom like that? Come on, Lisa. That broom is a memento of Dad. Alright, let's see if we can talk to him during this event, or if we lost it already. Let's find out together, chat. Always fun learning experience. The cactus walks? Dot dot dot. Alright, so they're missing their broom. We had a very suspicious missing cactus. 
Go away, old broom. Junkyard. Talk to him. Fun to get lost. Okay, good, good, good. We saved it. If we complete this event, by the way, that wipes out the uh, diary entry. So that's good. So we're safe for now. That's one of the more annoying events. I think there's one more where that can happen. We have to be very careful to talk with the other person before completing the event. Um, Lisa ran away. She heard about the cactus. We got to follow her. Come on. I'll say yes. Uh, does Bunt level with us? Let's learn together. Oh, he's level 10? Damn, Bud putting in the work chat. <laughs> Look at his weapon. He's got the, he's got the 31 damage weapon. He's literally doubling our damage. That is so sad. Chat, we got outclassed. Like actually for real, we just got straight up got outclassed. Damn, when NPC just comes in, double our stats. That's quite something. I guess I'll collect these, just for the sake of collecting them. So yeah, the, the crafting method involves, weirdly enough, produce, random meats, spring nana, which we see here, and a whole bunch of seeds. So sadly, you can get seed locked if you're trying to do certain things. So if you really want to get a lot of seeds, I think like Luan Highway has a lot of flowers. Basically anything that has the flower enemy and in that general area will give you a lot of them. Oh, that's a new one. Is it like masked potato? I'm trying to remember. It's been a long time. Yeah, there we go. I sort of remember the names. Sort of. Work a plant. What are you that is not bloomed? Sweet Moai, no. Grown many a number of fruit here. Should give you this for reference. So now we should have an encyclopedia, nice. Scholar compiled it centuries ago. You may find it useful. Here are some seeds I found on me. Spiny seed, round seed, round seed, small seed. So we are very gradually, I think, going up in seeds. Uh, I'll plant two small seeds and come back, because there's one that's still in the middle of growing. So we'll come back later. Yeah, the only, I think the one thing that I, you know, I, I kind of wish if they were gonna remake the game, quote unquote, they should have let you stockpile a bunch of monster feed items. So what I mean by that is, like, if I want to make sure I get the optimal level every time, every single time I level, I have to come back here and put something in the feed box. They should have let you just kind of mass put in items, to be honest with you. We have a lot of random meats. I could use the meats for catching monsters, because it's not like I'm really going to use them for anything else. But oh well, such is life. I just was curious if the citrus squid was worth using since I'm already here. Magic and scheming? Not really, not on this one. Unless I just want to get magic defense or something simple. Cause that's the only thing I have like a million of that I wouldn't mind. I do still have a capadillo in case I want to craft later. Oh well. Yeah, work a plan if I remember is okay to give. It's just a better version of the other thing. So it gives magic and skill instead of just magic. I might as well just feed it a few just because. I don't think the pet will really do too much other than act as a decoy in boss battle, sadly. There are some very aggressive enemy types. Like, for example, if I go to... Um, it's either Luan Highway or the place we have not yet been to near the lakeside where we can get a Chobin Hood. The Chobin Hood is actually fairly aggressive. I think that one was like actually decent for what it was. Anyway, let's continue onward to the junkyard. It's just kind of like an easy early game pickup.
There's a couple areas in certain dungeons that basically, if I go into them, they have a chance of having the egg. I don't think it's random. It's. I think they have a chance of being something, but it's not guaranteed to be the egg, is what I mean by that. But the location itself, I'm pretty sure, is set. Psychonetic teleport surface, all I charge is love. So I could go straight to Bomb's Lavatory if I want to. Sadly, though, I don't want to go here yet. So I'll throw anything with the broom walk deep inside. Someone cried, help, help, but I just ignored him. It was war. That's what I told myself. And see, they're so happy. I mean, I guess I could just walk back there. Oops. <laughs> Got stuck. Do you have anything new to say? It's all a weird creature carrying a broom bigger than itself. It was green and had lots of thorns. So I think we're basically taking almost literally the same route as before. I'll just do a couple double checks with the dialogue. Yeah, yeah, it keeps you going, yada yada. So he's saying, that was scary. I saw a cactus building a heavy broom and saying strange words. It sounded like Lisa Lisa. Okay. AI actually trolling and stopping me from getting hits. AI actually making the battles longer. So sad. When they get hit by magic, I can't combo them for check clarity. Yeah, yeah, you don't have anything new to say. Um, I think we go back to the upper left. My friends died one after the other on the battlefield. Everyone here went through that. That's why I'm... Go away. We're not on display. We went through so much together. Yay. Happy junkyard. It's happy. I think the chest you have to come like over here or something. Oh, I might have to come from the other side to get it. Whatever. I almost never get it in the playthroughs. I didn't know the cactuses could move. I learned something new every day. So yeah, it looks like same place. So yeah, that sword is actually an item you can get. It's just very low chance. I got excited when we saw the item earlier. The common drop, I think, is rust. Oh well. Keep it junk. Huh? It's over there! Ah! Oops, she got destroyed. Triple exclamation mark chat. Lisa! Dot 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 dot. Bud? Watch out! There's something here! Right! We gotta get out of here! I'm scared. All the junk here, like, hates people. I can't run anymore. Uh Lisa! Did you forget who I am? I'm Bud the Malignant, son of Master Magician Hine. Rip Broom. Welcome, Charlie. Hope you're doing well. But Dad was a dropout at the Academy of Magic. He was so bad. He was only accepted in Domina. We're doomed. Lisa, don't you remember what Dad always told us? Um, he who fights and runs away lives to see the light of day? That's it. Cowardice is the better part of Valor? Dot, 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 dot. Exactly. So, I'd rather live as a coward than die as a hero. Heroes, there are many. There is but one father of Bud and Lisa. Thanks, narrator. Bud! Lisa, run! Lisa, you just stay right there. I'll take care of this. Yeah, it's gonna be me taking care of it. Nice try, though, game. 
Isn't it like a tiny gremlin or something? I swear it's like really tiny. Like this big build up and it's like, yeah, exactly. That is a lot of health. Oops, my controller got loose. That's unfortunate. I mean, I still somehow hit that. You know, the AI spamming spells is not helping me, actually. Do not. There we go. <sighs> he's, he's actually breaking my rhythm, and he does so little damage. His melee weapon is actually really good. I wish he used it. It's kind of a shame. I'm so glad they interrupted the AI there. Thank you. You know, you know, the AI is actually trolling me. Could you not hit him out of my combo? I'm actually doing something other than power attack for once and I'm getting hard trolled. There we go. So you can stun the boss by chaining a couple of normals into a heavy attack. The problem with Spear is that because it has the close range twirl, it can be kind of awkward to chain it properly. But that's like what a proper combo looks like in Legend of Mana. I think that was the first time I've tried to do a legit combo. So basically, you could do like four, four X or light attacks into square. You could cancel the animation of square to go back into the light attacks. So if you loop it well, you do stun combos. But power attacks are technically just a lot faster if you chain them back to back. But if I get the stun, it stops the AI from potentially being immortal. So I have to kind of judge at this point, since I'm not as used to the game, whether it's worth going for the stun combo or not. Thanks, bud. I'm saved! We did it! No worries, Charlie. Have fun with Chris. She dot dot dots. Don't worry, I'll fix it! Daddy's broom, the end. Really? I just looked at what quest it wants me to do next. I remember that one. That is not a, uh, hmm. That is what we like to call not a fun one. This one is probably one of the quests I don't like because I used to play a lot of co-op back in the day. And this quest has a completely useless partner for like 95% of it. And it's kind of long. So we'll see. If I'm feeling not confident with my combos, I should probably swap in Crouch so I have a way to heal faster. Because as I said before, we're going to be kind of on our own when it comes to some of these other things. Are you finding that boss? I asked if it was a Moogle. Uh, no, it's just like a random imp. I think it's literally just called Imp or Devil in the other games, but I think the boss name is Gremlin. Welcome, Kirk. So yeah, we're, we're coming up to... Hmm. Quite a quest. I mean, I'm happy it's not super late in the chain. This is probably like one of the only times in the game where I'm like genuinely concerned about clearing. So I'm glad we're not waiting too long to do it. I know I had a different playthrough where this is one of my last ones and it was kind of a slog. So anyway, we should have the new artifact, the mirror. So if we go here, where we put the grottos and place it one tile up. We're gonna go to the tower. Let's 
So hopefully this will go okay, because we didn't place it super late. Yeah, I think distance from the home also determines difficulty of the area. To some extent, if I recall correctly. But also, chat, this is gonna be a big ol' big ol' maze. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of dead ends. I'm doing okay, Kirk. Also, I don't know what it was, but when I look at, like, Pearl from behind, I don't know what it was about her hair and her outfit. I always thought she was putting her, like, hands in her face like she's crying. That's just kind of what I see when I do that. The looking glass tower. Notice that one gets a special icon. There are some quests that are basically associated with each other. So we're officially doing progress on what is considered, I guess, the Jumi arc. We're hanging in, that's good. Layers. Ah! I'm sorry. I get carried away in my own thoughts. Thanks for finding me in the cave. But I've been separated from Elazil again. I feel like the tower is calling me. I have to go. Stop her, go with her. I think we gotta offer to go with her. Thank you, Trey. And Chan will now understand why this quest is about to be very brutal. Let's take a look at what she has. So her strength? Terrible. No weapon. <laughs> we literally have a deadweight NPC. She has only crouch and no abilities. Yeah, this this character on this stage is just kind of mean. As I said before, I'm thankful that uh, we don't have to worry about her for a little bit. Get RPG, something like that. Yeah, she's literally useless. She'll draw the attention of the NPC sometimes. All she does is crouch and re-get regen HP. Otherwise, she just dies. Learn Moon Salt. Nice. Love to see it. Now that we've learned Moon Salt, what should we learn next? Hmm. Sometimes I, I, I'm gonna have to come back to some of these, I think, later. I think that's it in the chain. I don't think Moonsault learns anything else. So let's see what else we're missing. Did we learn Tackle last time? We got Whirl, Bash. So if Push plus Whirl was Bash, I guess I could do Lunge plus Push? I like putting it in the order that I'm learning with the skills. Plus, we need to get more uses of lunge and push regardless. I don't I don't think that was in there. I'm just gonna double check. Tackle's not needed to learn anything in particular, but I figured we might as well just close the chain off. So yeah, we still have to do all the counter-strike stuff, the evades. But I think I got all the mobility skills out of the way at least. Then after that we'll focus on getting uh, spear abilities. And I'll talk about which ones we have and how we gain them. Wow, that actually just missed. Yeah, I could do an abridged version of my combo. I could do like two lights into a heavy. But you can see like if you're able to cancel it, you can get some decent damage here. That's not a bad combo finish, for example. So we're gonna go up a floor. 
So I believe there's 11 stories, by the way, chat. So we're only on floor two. So strap in. Look at that wiggle. Look at that wiggle. Oh, that was so good. I'm trying to avoid detours, but we'll see how if I hit any. There we go. Decided to do a thing and now I'm wondering if notifications will prop right now. Oh, because you changed the name. Maybe. I'm not gonna lie, I remember these rewards sucking. Vampire pun partially intended. Oh, the confuse. Alright, that's just rapid cancels. That's not even a special cancel. I could do lunge of the lunge. Oh boy, we leveled Pearl. There we go. I mean, at least we're making some progress. I think I gotta go right here. There we go. That was like a legitimate combo. In case people were worried I was going to only use Thrust the whole time. I mean, I do like chaining it, don't get me wrong. Tackle learn, okay. So I think it remembered the amount of abilities we have. Oh, so that's the other thing. So if you have used a skill a certain number of times, as long as you have it equipped and you with the proper weapon, I believe you just learn the skill instantly with it. So that's why that skill was learned almost instantly, because we already had other uses of lunge. And push we started using with whirl, I believe. So we didn't need as much for tackle. So I believe for this one we could just do defend and get extra uses of flip kick, maybe? I basically want to learn counterattack, which I don't think we learned yet. Just double checking. Oh, we did learn counterattack. Oh. Well then, I will put on counterattack instead of that. So we'll get our defend uses up. So there's like a game where you can punish them. So if you want to have like the equivalency of like a parry system. It is there for that kind of playstyle. I, I don't have that kind of playstyle. I play super aggressive in this game. But for people that want to play patient, they can do that. Or if you like uh, the grab techniques, the grab techniques allow for pretty long combos. So you could do like three or four lights into a heavy, into a heavy, into a grapple, into the whole full combo again. And it just allows for some pretty ridiculously long combos that usually result in stun. I like that more for like the melee characters. Okay, so far I think I haven't gone the wrong way yet, which is good. Though I feel like I'm about to jinx it. I think it's down, actually. But because I haven't used counterattack, it's probably going to take several battles in order to learn it. Oh, that was rude. I was just picking up XP. Defensive lunge. Not what I was looking to attain, but that's fine. Always love when I pick up skills I'm not intending to get. Okay, we went the right way, I think. So that's a good sign. Team meat acquired. We're getting there, chat. Seventh floor. Get another furious copter. 
Did that really miss everything? Wow, that ability is booty. Chat, we're, we're unlearning that technique. The fact that that hit literally no one is actually phenomenally terrible. I think we have a round of applause for the worst AoE technique in the game. How did it miss literally everybody? That's actually impressive. Yeah, we're getting rid of it. I guess the furious part is me getting furious with the boo's terrible hitbox. So yeah, let's just unlearn this. What a waste. Um... I do have Dragon's Bite now. That's kind of exciting. Long range, direct, medium damage. Maybe. I finally got an okay move. Let's see how it goes. That's not the right move. Oh yeah, Twister is close range. That's also fine, honestly. Oh, it puts them to sleep too? Oh, that's kind of neat. The Mallards are worth a lot of XP. These are the enemies that are worth, like, resetting the room for, for sure. Oh, I didn't cancel it properly. So close. Leveling up Chocobo, buddy. Chocobo is so much more HP than me, by the way. He's got a double health bar. I'm still on one. Damn, Chad, I'm slacking with Spear. Get wrecked with the Spear stats. <laughs> GG. Actually, I wonder if I can see Charlie's old things. I'm curious if I'm allowed to replay it. Let's see if this works. No. Oh, that probably is the old name. That's probably why it doesn't work. Yeah, I mean, look at our health bar. We don't even have a full health bar yet. I mean, we got more than Pearl, but that's... That's not really an accomplishment, to be honest. See Dragon's Bite. It says long range. How far is it? Oh. Oh, and it can hit more than one target. I'm okay with that. That I'm completely okay with. A bit linear, but that's fine. It's a spear. We're not expecting, like, the most ridiculous AoEs ever. I do have to pick those up, or else I do wait a long time for chat clarity. so slow on the charge up, sadly. So sadly, our, our buddy drew the attack attention. Should be a lot of XP, because that's a good NXP enemy. Counter-Strike learn, nice. All right, so we learned a whole bunch of abilities all at once. So what is left to learn in the game? I believe we haven't done cheer plus retreat at all. We'll get our uses of the moves up a little bit more. We have used Retreat. I don't think we've used Cheer that much. So we're at 22 abilities. I believe we haven't learned Taunt. I don't see Taunt. So we'll we'll basically get all of our Taunt moves there. And then I think there's only a couple abilities after that. We're on the ninth floor. Hopefully I did not go the wrong way. Nice. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I think I got baited. I think I can drop out that window that we saw earlier to go backwards, but I want to go back before. So close. So I guess I had to go down here? Oh, it was one room off. That is so sad, because I'm pretty sure we have to go here. That is so sad, actually. transportation device. Oh, well. 
So now we're on the 10th floor. Because remember, the 9th floor didn't go anywhere. We've now gotten past that point. I think it's to the left here. We're now on the 11th floor. We could drop off that railing. I don't want to, though. The room of fate lies beyond the door. Everyone must face their past. I... I'm sorry, Trey. Run if it gets dangerous. Uh... I mean, I guess I'll try to win with our current skills. I guess we'll see how hard this is. Wish me luck, chat. This thing could do a lot of damage to us if we're not careful. Ooh, there we go. You're the guard? Please, tell me. I want to know my own past. Ah! Suddenly centaur! Hopefully we could stun lock it here to some extent. Ooh, that could have been real bad for us. All right, let's make sure we're not lined up with him in any way. No. See, that did 50, that did, or did 44% to the ally, by the way, Chad, if you didn't notice. Ooh, that could have been bad. I might use a special technique to dodge. <laughs> Case in point. Oh, I wasn't sure which way it was gonna go. I tried guessing. Thanks, iframes. Oh, you got to attack again? That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not getting close to you. There we go, the sun loops, there we go. There we go. Oh, dropped it. Don't want to be lined up with him. Think I got him. Oh, well, that's big. Ooh. Oh boy, I lost half my health already. We're gonna hold still, regen some HP. <laughs> right, chat? If, you, if you're wondering why I was concerned. All right, it's targeting me? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Okay, we're good. Pearl's dead though. Ooh, I could die here. This is very bad for us, actually. Okay, I'm glad I didn't do the jump. That could have been real bad for us. GG. That could have been so bad, chat. You have no idea. If it did the jump attack, then we would have been in big trouble. We finally got to our second health bar, though. GG. I did manage to stun lock it for a while, but man. If you let that thing do stuff, it's so bad. I was so scared. Huh? My core? Pearl. Elazel. I thought I told you not to wander around. I'm sorry. If I try to remember something. Thanks again. Let's go. I feel like I can't. Please, help me. Please? Please, Elazel. Elazel? He dot dot dot, sir. I understand. Take Pearl to the bottom of the tower. If anything happens to her, I will kill you. Understand? I'll clean up out, clean up the little trash. Don't let Pearl get in over her head. Thank you for helping me. You know what the worst part is, chat? There's a reason we have to go down and assist her to the bottom floor. I'll give you a hint. 
we're not done with the quest. <laughs> this this is really brutal. Um, do I take a safety skill? I think I will. So yeah, chat. There's there's another boss. <laughs> It's uh, a choice. We're gonna take the shortcut downwards at least. Alright, so now I have to remember how to get down from here. Oh, there was a safe statue. I think I totally ignored that statue, by the way, before. I can be real with you. I just, I just yellowed the whole quest at the beginning. I'm just like, yeah, I'm too focused trying to remember left, right. I don't even think I noticed it when we went by this. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, look at that wiggle. Ooh. Accelerating. Welcome, Wild Fox. Hope you're doing well. Look at that wiggle. Optimize that movement. I mean, I would like to level, if I could, for the next boss. Probably not gonna happen, sadly. <laughs> I love the AI glitching out, I have no idea what to do. Poor game. At least that is sleep. That is actually somewhat useful for me if I can't one shot. Okay, question. 203 XP. Uh, probably not gonna happen. So let's take a look. We're getting a lot of skill upgrade, and we have a lot of defense thanks to Spear. But our strength? Kind of bad, honestly. HP? Pretty bad. We have immunity to, like, status ailments for the most part, but that's- I don't really care about that, and our luck is terrible. So not- not a great stat spread, for sure. But it's okay, we'd like a little bit of a challenge. Uh, I don't remember how to- I remembered up, I don't remember down. Okay, I was trying to guess if it was left or up. So we're gonna be in- it's for an interesting time when we reach the first floor. Fear, please. Got interrupted. Man, that bat is actually MVP right now. Oh, you think confused controls will really defeat me? Nice try, though. Like, I played Mayhem a few times. I, I can live with reverse controls. We also survived East. Moonrock Tiara. Okay, I mean, I'll take random equipment upgrades. Listen. Cursed Bone Pendant. I'm double checking what that is. I think it causes a bad status ailment. I mean, I think no matter what, I would want some confusion resistance. There should just be an auto upgrade over this. Oh, at least some defense. Hmm. Interesting. I don't actually know if it has a downside. I guess we can learn. Oh, it gives you just like a lot of raw magic defense. Uh... I don't think that matters as much as a stat, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm not that worried about magic damage. Hopefully they line up with me. We'll see, though. This attack is very slow, but it does pay off if it hits. Sort of. Another item. Missed. There we go. Grave Blade? Oh, hold on, am I getting another weapon type? 
How strong is this? Ooh. Chat, do I have permission to use this? <laughs> it's, uh... It's kind of way stronger than our spear. It's not even close how much better this is. I'll let chat decide, though. I'll, I'll be fair to chat. I mean, this is so much stronger. I mean, it's like, what, 17 compared to 37? What a damage increase. Item RNG was actually on our side, surprisingly. Oh, well. So I think we just gotta get to the bottom. At some point, I do want to show off other weapons. So for now, since I don't see anything from chat, I'll keep using the spear. That sword is very good. I sadly just don't have any special skills with it yet. But fortunately, since we've been using other skills, generally speaking, we should be able to very quickly pick up the two-headed sword techniques by just briefly equipping the sword with the proper number of skill uses. There we go. Honestly, I did see- oops, <laughs> I can't hit today. Honestly, I did see a lot of complaints like coming into the game about the game's combat. I actually like this game's combat. I mean, it's definitely like very abusable, but I think it's like an abusable in like a somewhat technical way where I still have a lot of fun with it. Like, I'm doing a lot of cancels to make the combos feel more fluid. So I'm just not sure how many cancels people do when they played the game. Like, the jump cancels or, like, the stringing the power attacks. I like the concept of the stun system. I like that, like, depending on the weapon type, you have different specials that are utility-based. So there I just shut down, like, an entire enemy squad so I don't have to hunt them down later. I mean, I love unlocking the little skills. I don't know if I unlock... I don't know if I love unlocking the weapon techniques, but I like the idea that you kind of feel out what skills do what as you play. Oops, don't want to go that way. So like, you know, crouch and jump leads to high jump. Some of them are kind of like self-explanatory. And I kind of like that from like the intu intuition side of things. And from like, it, without using any of like the advanced cancels, I still had a lot of fun with like grapple and stuff like that. And then like uh, the kick flip was also a good cancel that I think is intended versus like glitchy. And I love how fast paced it could go. You could just kind of set up your own combo where a lot of enemies can get absolutely stomped by you, which is huge. I think that's actually a good helmet if I remember correctly. I think that's better than what I'm wielding. No, it does give me HP. Do I one HP over defense? I don't think I do. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Might as well as taunt briefly, because we can. Yeah, that, that AOV shuts us down pretty hard. It outranges us with spear, our only advantage. <laughs> And I do like the kind of direction-based inputs. So like, for example, if I do like neutral square, I get the thrust, and if I hit like up or down with it, I get like a completely different move. So I like that like, even with just the basic core of the game, if you do some light attacks into a thrust into the uppercut, that's like an intended combo. I don't think we're doing any, you know, <laughs> witchy features with it. And I do find that fun. It's rewarding. You can't just like button mash if you want to get like a stun combo. And bosses tend to get out of combos pretty easily unless you really know what you're doing. Which again, I think is a good sign. The game forces you to learn. So anyway, we have Taunt. What else should we learn? Did we learn Evade? I think it's Lunge plus Retreat. We did not, okay. So again, we're getting extra uses of lunge and retreat, which are pretty common core abilities. Or, so, yeah, core abilities needed for the weapon techniques. Uh, this way? Yeah. We already learned defensive lunge, because I defended lunge. So I think we only have toss and slide left? And then I'll just compare the list later.
The only- my only complaint there is I wish the supers were a little faster. I don't mind them having like a little bit of a charge animation, but it can be kind of annoying when you have a full party to like combo it. But I like it more as like a punish to like a boss's super move too, where it's like not as useful in like general combat, where combos are just better to handle enemies over AoEs. But I do love that there's the option, as I said before. You know, there, there's things that, you know, they have their purpose. Some abilities are definitely more useless than others, but... You know, like, I'm not a big fan of Taunt. It's okay. I'm not a big Counter-Strike player, but if somebody wants to play very defensively... You know, that's kind of neat. You know, like, if you want to advance towards the enemy, you could do a Guard plus Approach. Flip Kick is very powerful as a skill, though, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually crazy how good that is. Well, speaking of which... So yeah, I believe the little gold icon indicates that we've completed it. So we're doing pretty well. The wisdom quest is going to take us a long time to complete. I'm not as worried about that. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> we can we can do fancy dodges in this game, which again I think is cool. It makes you think about like the different abilities. I think where they could have made it a little cleaner would probably be the supers. And again, I like that they can't necessarily be comboed per se. Nice to be master and evade. And I do like that you can also choose potentially with your weapon which ones are worth using over others. Um, I believe Bash plus Crouch is Toss. So we'll do that one next. And, that, and Crouch is a good backup for bosses in case I'm not feeling confident, because that lets me gather a lot of HP. I believe we are about to go fight a boss. Listen to that music chat. Wish me luck again. What was that? A note? The Jewel Hunter! I've wanted to meet you. No! Your core is mine! Judge the Clod, who has forgotten its sparkle. Go, Jewel Beast. There's our cameo. Sort of. Oh, I did not combo there. That was kind of risky. not quite lined up with it. So I drop combo. And we're gonna try to dodge some hits manually. Ooh, we took massive damage there. That's unfortunate. Should still hit. I'm gonna crouch briefly, get some HP back. Okay, take this opportunity to heal. I am not standing anywhere near that. Okay, we should be good. Thank you, Crouch. Hate that it keeps backing up. It's making my combo drop actually a lot. But we finally got the sun. As you can see, my spear combo isn't actually able to connect fully due to that. There we go. Oh, I got Wombo Combo. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's why I was worried about this boss. I need our allies to come over to me. I don't know if they will, though. I don't think this is GG yet. Unfortunate. Yeah, this boss could just do a ton of damage. Please, allies, live a couple more seconds. 
Come on, Chocobo! Chocobo! Yeah! Chocobo stall! Thank you, Chocobo. Holy, that could have been so much worse. Goodbye, our allies, by the way. They are so dead. I'm gonna punish the boss here. Man, the fact that that charge does like 70% to me is kind of insane. So just two mistakes, you die. And you can react to it, don't get me wrong. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, that could have been worse. Thank you, Chocobo buddy. Learn toss and slide simultaneously. I mean, that helps. Do we have all the techniques now? The slow Chocobo is pretty funny, yeah. Look at him. He just froze. Oh, there we go. Look at him go. He's trolling every cutscene. What a troll. Quite a partner you have, Pearl. Why? Why do you hunt us? How terrible! Listen to your core. Huh? We'll meet again. Good night, Pearl. Just chugging along, exactly. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Am I going to die? A guardian without a knight is a sitting duck. Elazel is looking for others. And if that Jumi is a guardian, then he'll... I I'll be all alone. I hope he never finds one. I have to go. Elazel is waiting. I'll get yelled at again. I love how she just doesn't address anything that we just witnessed. We're like, wait a minute. We got, like, run over by the jewel beast. You have no nothing to say about that? Okay. Thank you, Trey. This is for you. Frozen heart. Take care. So anyway, I'm happy we didn't save this for later in the game. <laughs> Looking Glass Tower. I remember this one doing a lot of damage to me. I see th some things never change. <laughs> so that was like the di quote unquote difficulty spike of the game. I don't think there is another fight quite on that level for quite some time. So we managed to get through it, although we got, I guess, a little lucky. But you saw just one attack from that boss did 70%, and then if it partially hits us, it does 40%. So even with crouching, restoring 15%, I still died. Unfortunate. Anyway, we should be good now. Got body blocked by, by uh, Bud there. He's better than me, chat. Face the past. Yes. Okay, so what are we doing next? Oh. We're actually going to go ahead and create the lake. Interesting. I guess I could show off monster catching there. So, so far so good, chat. We've not missed an event. Um... Let's see, how many skills do I have? I have 26 skills. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So I officially have all of the skills in the game. So at this point, if I just want to learn techniques, I could focus on that. So for example, lunge leads to lancer. I believe we learned Mighty Javelin already, which requires jump. Twister requires spin, which makes sense. Dragon Spike, which uses the Somersault, requires Somersault. Furious Copter requires high jump. So I guess we could focus on unlocking new moves. So let's go ahead and keep Moonsault on. So we can learn Nebula Saucer. And then is there anything else I want to learn? I guess I can also do back roll to learn another technique. Yeah, let's learn two techniques. So that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna equip skills that we haven't learned already. Or abilities uh, for skills we haven't learned already and proceed forward. Oh, 
Oh, I should have checked the produce, actually. I'll do that on the way back. We're not in a rush. So now that we placed the tower, if you remember last session, we got the stone eye. You see, we have all these unplaced artifacts still, chat. They're going to be sitting with us for a while. Oh, Tome of Magic? No, 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 no. Stone eye. So above the tower, we're going to go ahead and place this object. Let's go to Lake Kilma. Also, I love since we haven't been placing many towns, we haven't gotten an upgrade in a while. Because I'm not using the crafting system. So we will see our damage continue to fall off unless I switch weapons. But I think for now I'll keep using the spear. Unless chat wants to see the great sword. The scouts ain't back yet. Could the fairies have crushed them? Also, chat, I don't know why it took me so long to realize they were penguins. <laughs> it was like, they do mention it a couple times, but when I looked at them, I didn't realize they were right away. I think I got confused by their outfits. But anyway, welcome to the penguin pirates. Hold, stranger. What be the password? I'm gonna say what? Aye, very good. Captain, our comrade has arrived. That's no comrade. One look will tell you that. But the password was correct. Ah, shut up. Back to the ship before those fairies find us. All outfits in this game are confusing. A little bit. Away they go. The Gorgon Eye. What up are you doing well, Calvisha? I love that you can cancel the moon salt with an attack. Wonder if that'll work. Oh, it doesn't let me do it. No, it doesn't cancel that way. That's a shame. I guess only jump allows you to do that. So again, we're just getting general skill usage up, and because we're using the spear so often, we should unlock it pretty soon. Thank you, Twister. D it hit me on the way down. Wow, that is impressive. You got me. Not that great today. Sorry to hear that, Calvishon. Hopefully that new Metroidvania, both the one you're playing Moonscars, I think it is, as well as Animal Well, ends up being kind of nice. So we see the penguins are not doing so well. I forget if there's an item over here. Yeah, there is. Fish meat. So we'll just follow the path of the penguins for now. Twister. Welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Chocobo Buddy actually was MVP in a boss fight. Oh, he's actually being aggressive. That's good. Odd meat. Eh. Excuse me, excuse me, youngin. Hello. I'm just a turtle. I have a favor to ask you. Would you stand still right there for me? Sure, let's spin you. Spin, spin, spin. I spin around. Oh, thank you, youngin. The pirates did this to me. Feel blessed, left very little and very poorly. Oh, sorry to hear that, Chris. They trampled me on the way to look for the treasure. Spin, spin, indeed. By the way, Sonny, can you see the fairy right there? Um... No? 
Fairies here do not show themselves to anyone unless they think you're harmful. It seems like the fairies trust you. Cast this spell so you will be able to see them. Turtle, turtle, totally da. Sure thing. Humans are stupid. We don't have any treasure with us. Yeah, but they're not humans. Now you can see the fairies. We share our lives with the master. If he dies, we die. The master of the lake petrifies objects by staring at them. They could do the same by using the stone eye. Fairies are the only ones who can use it. Humans can't. So I guess I go to lower right here. I think if I go upper right, maybe that's where the monster was. There's there's a couple of mechanics we haven't unlocked yet, by the way. So what I mean by that is that aside from monster collecting, there is something else we could do. Oh, this guy's worth so much XP. Yeah, sadly, Spear doesn't hit multiple targets at once. I think that's also kind of a shame. I think Spear should have definitely been able to do that. So that's why our combo dropped there. Even though I didn't drop the hits, it dropped the target, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I love the Chopin Hoods because they're worth so much XP. Nebula Saucer has been learned. Nice. Let's see. I'm not using Lancer at all. Short range, medium damage. Let's try this. Yeah, you could tell if it's going to be a monster spawn or not because the music will pause. So for example, if that was an area where monsters could spawn, if I just repeatedly come back in here, I'll hear the music pause. So I'll do this a couple times to listen for it. And that's literally how you can force it to come here. And if it doesn't, it's fine. There's like one little narrow stretch. I couldn't remember if it was here or the one that was in the prior area. I'll try one more time. Okay, I don't think it's gonna happen. But as I said before, there's also another mechanic we haven't unlocked yet. So that could be something we'll encounter in the future. Anyway, in the meantime, let's go this way. Yeah, I wanted to see if we could get another buddy. That's fun. Nebula Saucer, let's see how you deal. It was a single thrust? Oh. Oh no, that's not good. Right, chat? Um, short range is an understatement. We don't even move with it. Holy. That's not a good move. Yeah, I missed I missed the initial hit, so it didn't do anything, if chat was curious. Which is kind of annoying. I guess I could do this to maybe hit it. Now it should work. That is so risky. I don't like that. I'm like, listen, if the move doesn't move me forward or do an AoE, I'm not using it. So that's an example of some of the skills are not quite made the same as others. Okay, we learned Rewind. I would like to rewind having that terrible, terrible ability. Rewind, another short range medium damage. Well, I guess we'll see how good that is in a moment. So anyway, so now that we have those out of the way, what else should we learn? I guess we can switch our skill over to... Oh, we're not using gloves. Glove is really fun, though. See, this is one of the few games I would actually consider playing again on a higher difficulty. Once I get used to the abilities again. I guess I could do a tackle one. Just to get the tackle usage up and crouch. Because we do need those for other skills. Penguins, we face too great a risk. Back to the ship. Captain, we ain't gonna leave our stone mates behind, are you? <laughs> Let me put stoned in quotes. That's petrified and not stoned. Was that supposed to be a joke? One more stupid joke and I'll have ye all... <laughs> <laughs> dot 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 triple exclamation mark. 
flunked in your heads. Captain, that ain't a powerful enough threat. Say I'll kill ye all for us, Captain. All of our penguin hearts beat with yours, Captain. But kill is such a harsh word. My mother said before, you know. All of us penguins came this far because of you. Say it, Captain, like a real pirate. Then listen, penguins. One more stupid joke and I'll kill ya all. That was wonderful. You are a real pirate. Let's go avenge our stonified shipmates. I'll not be doing that now, penguins. Back to the ship. Hey, dot, dot, dot. Forsake the lake to, to see the sea. See? Gay violence. There we go. They're threatening us, dominate us. Oh, I like the chocobo inspecting the ground as I say. That was good timing. I'm gonna check here real quick. Can we mention the game was weird? I don't think so. I was just checking which one Rewind was on. Okay, that had more range than the other ability at least. I think we could agree. It's not great, but at least it had more reach. Oh, that's done. I think this thing we're fighting can drop seeds, I think, maybe? So yeah, so that's an intended combo, being able to end with a launcher. Repeatedly chaining heavy thrust, though. Not intended. Lancinator? Uh, I don't think that was the ability that I was going for, to be honest. Oh no, it was. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong skill. So I guess we'll go to Spin Lunge for Cyclone Racer next. And again, because we've been holding on to them for a little bit, I don't think we need as many uses with them. So at this point, they should be mostly instant learns until we get further down the list. And by the time we get further down the list, we'll use Spear with enough combat that we learn something. It's another medium range one. I guess I could put that on there. I do actually like Twister and Dragon Bite for different reasons. Interesting that this one went all the way around. Is there any difference between this or does it end me in the same area? Oh. Wait, so if I go back... What was at the bottom right? No, okay, now I'm curious. I unintentionally went the right way. Let's see how far range this is. Oh, uh, that's much better. It has a lunge. <laughs> right, Chad? It has a lunge. That's all you need to know. Oh, the repeated light attack combo. There we go. That's, that's the old cheesy. Cyclone Racer learned instantly. So you can see that we've used Spear enough times that they're just basically being instant learned if we have used the ability enough times in combat before. So I guess we'll go see what this does. So this one's a mid-range move, which might be good for us. So let's go to Toss Evade for Fool's Play, which will be our first major damage move, I think. And again, this is getting extra uses on these other abilities. Actually, it's faster to do this. But yeah, I don't think I showed off Toss. Yeah, you just kind of chuck him in the air. I love it. Yeah, the difference between light attack spam, by the way, Light attack spam is pretty good at interrupting normal enemies. Heavy attacks tend to interrupt boss moves. So I'll tend to prefer launch. Jeez, I'm getting stunlocked. Please stop stunlocking me. Jeez. Holy, what a combo. So most of the time, this is not going to interrupt a serious attack. But on basic enemies, you can just jab spam. Which prob that probably shouldn't be in the game. That's not even, that's not even like anything crazy. 
But I figured I'd show off some more combat stuff. So like, what happens if I go down here? That's where I got a little confused. Oh, it's just more treasure. Interesting. Hairball. Why on earth did you come here? All humans should be turned to stone. I hate humans. I see that we're loved. Right, chat? Feel the love. Let's see how much range this has. Ooh. That's a good one. Charges forward and does decent damage. Okay. Look at that light combo. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Abusing the sphere. It's slowly coming back to me. Yeah, that was a much better ability. So anyway, I guess we can abuse Spear the way it was partially intended. I mean, I'm not doing anything crazy there. I don't like humans because you make filthy stuff. Penguins are a type of human, aren't they? Oh, is that why they thought they were humans earlier? They're just confused. Well, the penguins did not do well there. I might as well as collect the items even if I never use them. Just to say that I collected them. Ear of Wheat, I think, is also used in some crafting. It's surprisingly good. So we're almost at the exit. This enemy also gives good XP. Like, see how he's able to move during it? It's not like a perfect infinite. So that's why I prefer to do power attacks. So I think to some, some extent, you could see how many light attacks you could chain before you do, like, your full light attack combo into heavies. You'd be kind of greedy with normal gameplay. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There they go. You must sacrifice yourself to the master, too. Wait, the penguin started this. Ah! Oh my. This is getting worse. Once you go down, you can't go come back up by yourself. You must be worth risking your own life for, hmm? Well, time to jump off. Love our chocobo trolling in every cutscene. Oh, I love it to the little flappy animations that fell. I shall go too. Oh, that reminds me, Chad. Actually, you're gonna be very excited. Although, chat's gonna have to make a very difficult choice. We're gonna get another companion right after this quest. Captain, get a hold of yourself! Humans think the master of this lake hid the treasure. Fairies believe they will die if the master dies, but both are myths. Shut up, turtle! Do something about our captain! Well now, how about if you penguins become live bait and... That person over there brings down the monster. Shocked, shocked face. Uh, and that master is huge or something. Yes, he is. Um, how big is he? <laughs> like he goes off screen. He's as large as the area stretching from this spot to... Over here. They all look at each other. Well, I, I guess your strategy ain't so bad, but at least I will start this for you. This turtle is such a troll. Goodbye there, Captain. Yeeted chat. Hey! Captain! Now it is your turn to take over. Okay, chat, boss time. Here it comes. I think he was lying to them. Look how small it is. Oh, that's done there. Uh, 
We're gonna choose not to be next to it. So again, you could kind of punish the boss moves with it, which is neat. There we go. Oh, look at that rhythm. Oh, there we go. The cheese. Maximum cheese. Love it. You love it, chat. Look at the cheese. Nope. We're not going to do any power attacks. I'm just going to punish you. Get away from him. Hello there. Him. Yeah, this boss didn't seem to be reacting as much to our light attacks, so I took full advantage of that. Nice level up. Yeah, that boss got abused. That's to make up for earlier, chat. I swear I remember how to play the game. Captain! We sure be glad you're still alive. Yeah, our, our stonified mates must be back to normal now. Captain, climb our backs to go up! Would you make the slope a little bit easier on my back? Shut up, CBC. This is all we could do. Do as he says. Dun, 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 dun. Fade to black. Boss got decimated. Yeah, that was one-sided. Needless to say, this is supposed to be an earlier boss, and it is not the horrible nightmare that were the tower bosses that are actually genuinely very damaging, and they like to get out of combos. It doesn't reach to the top of the cliff, penguins. We should never go ashore again. Firefly and lamp acquired. Oh, I can finally place a town, by the way. That place is something we saw in the other intro. The Gorgonai. So there you go, chat. You're gonna have to come up with another name for a companion. I will give a hint. We've seen this companion before in Secret of Mana. And I believe in the Secret of Mana that enemy type was known as Kilroy. There we go. There's there's your Secret of Mana trivia. Look at that chat. Look at me remembering things from stuff we did on stream. <laughs> Didn't even have it opened up or anything. You should feel proud. I just remember that was just such a weird name for a boss. I forget what the upgraded version is, if it's like Kilroy Mach 2. Don't recall. Penguin statue, let's save our game. Check on the produce. So now we're gonna go back to the junkyard. And fortunately, since we've cleared the junkyard already, we could go straight to, uh, I think it was Professor Bomb's lab. The accursed plant. Yep, chat loves the plant. It very rarely talks. Chat's like, thankfully. <laughs> They're like, I'm gonna get tilted by the cactus. Well, anyway, now that we have uh, Lake Kilma placed, this quest is now completable. Since the second half of this quest goes there. And we'll unlock yet another feature. But then again, chat's gonna have to make a tough choice of which companion they like more. I'll take whichever one chat wants. I don't think I have a preference. Honestly, most of the time, our AI buddy is just gonna be there to face tank or distract the enemies. Sometimes they have useful status effect stuff. Like if I'm close enough to them, they help clear status ailments. So Chocoball is actually pretty good with their synchro effect. Go ahead and use this. All he charges is love. I could go to Louie's room right now if I want to, since we've been there before. Let's go here. I, I don't... Bomb is quite a creation. I think he's like a hairball thing. Don't know how to really describe him. I'm not even sure if he's wearing clothes, to be honest. He might not be. I'm Professor Bomb. The junk lying around here is all artifact creatures. They fought in a war a long time ago. Once I made a golem out of this trash, but you know what? It ran away. 
I think of all the bad things he must be doing out there. It makes me cry. I guess I'm a little naive sometimes. And then he, I guess, farted? Question mark. Real classy. And with Pavlov, you see, you could find him somehow. I'll be so happy. I'll say I'll find him. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Professor Bomb's lab. Guess I'll take the treasure chest. I believe we just have to go left from here. Oh, Christmas, the uh, the talking dolls. Oh, where's the, where's the other one? Oh. oh, the one talking about his wound isn't here. He's on the other screen. Never mind. Well, anyway, we have these presumed souls of warriors that died in the Great Fairy War. Someone cried, help, help, but I just ignored him. It was war. That's what I told myself. There you go, rocking horse. Just rock yourself to sleep. Everything will be fine. I, I guess that's kind of like their purgatory, which is funny given locations that exist in this game. Oh, I forgot to check the produce. Damn. Uh, I'll do it right now, actually. Oh, you can't cancel once you're already moving. That's unfortunate. Well, I'll complete the quest then. Got your new gaming laptop? Nice, nice. This game is interesting. It's certainly something. I mean, it has your favorite character, Little Cactus. How could you not love it? Oh, there it is. Ha, 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 ha. See, he's having a good time. Oh, what is, oh, I can't talk to them? Oh, did they like lose their souls when they left or did he actually kill kill them? I left Professor to start my own research to get rid of foolish creatures with golem troops. Oh, pff. Okay. You move a little bit, but not enough to save you. Hmm. Oh, Chocobo Buddy, you broke my combo. I got trolled. Chocobo Buddy actually trolling. I just assumed Chocobo Buddy was gonna combo break me there, I'm not gonna lie. Getting clipped randomly. Poke. <laughs> right, chat? <laughs> Am I poking you? Is this annoying? Is this annoying? Is this annoying? Is this annoying? Oh, there we go. I'm comboing with Chocobo Buddy. There we go. There we go. Combo not interrupted this time. The stun lock is real. It's not very fast, but when it works, it works. I am surprised that still combos. Cheese. Oh, I wanted to finish with the power attack there. Poke. That golem got actually deleted. Fool's play has been learned. Nice. We'll try that at next. Take over the world, fiddlesticks! Oh, he rotates his head. Oh no. Oh, he takes off like a copter. Yeah, he does. This, I don't understand what this character is. I'll redesign you. What a gross character. Anyway, that freak of nature, we'll be seeing him again soon. He's basically just arms and feet. There's no legs or body. Goodbye, Professor Bomb. <laughs> just... Okay. So this time I'm gonna go get the produce. And we're gonna do the cactus event. And then we should have a new facility if we check the back of the house. Laugh track? Yeah, maybe. I didn't think we would need it for this game, but it's looking like it. Let me get the event out of the way in case something weird happens. Man, Bud blocks me almost every time. 
I'm getting outplayed. Fine, fine, chat. I mean, it's kind of morbid that he has, like, a thing that he writes on that looks like a cactus. Did he, like, injure himself to get that? Did he kill another of his kind? I have so many questions. Ooh, bumpkin head is fun. Sweet Moai. Get our loquat shoes. I guess if I can raise the HP of the monster, I think I'd prefer that. I just need it to be tanky. Small seeds. We got a lot of small seeds, so I might as well use them. So we'll double up on small seed. And we'll double up on another seed so I can feed the creature something. We'll do... Double round seeds, maybe. I forget how much mass potato actually grants. Do you love that it's just literally a Moai statue? Yeah, they don't even try. They're like, listen. Yeah, Bumpkin I remember being decent because it gives power and spirit. It does give some bad attributes, like lazy. But it's otherwise just free damage, so I don't have a reason to not at least do that if I want the creature to do stuff. Let's feed it probably a Bumpkin. I like keeping one of each produce, just because I like showcasing what we have. So we'll do... Oh, we only have one bumpkin. Not mass potato. I don't remember what that gives at all, to be honest with you. That apparently gives luck down, but defense HP spirit up. Don't really want to lose luck. I don't know about that, chat. I mean, I could probably give it an apricot for defense, which is fine if I want it to be tanky. And Spring Nana is, I think, okay? Yeah, this, one, this one's raw HP, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it is. Okay, good, good, good. So it also reduces uh, indecisiveness. So that's one of the really bad traits to get on the monster, by the way. So there are like kind of secondary characteristics. We want to get aggressive or loyal, because uh, that or friendly. I think it's friendly, where it follows you around and will try to help you. Aggressive just means it's constantly attacking, which is kind of nice. Yeah, we'll take that free extra HP. Let's go back here. So now, this should be here. So you can see there is a, a building on the left portion of this area now. I build a golem laboratory right here. I'm sure golems you make here won't go on violent killing sprees. <laughs> Let me give you a tour. Walk this way. That's very reassuring. Golem go make them. So there we go, chat. Time to decide. Do you like Chocobo Buddy? Or do you want a Golem? You can't have both, sadly. It would have been nice if you could have had the other partner slot to have the robot, to be honest. But sadly, you can't do that in this game. If they ever do a hardcore remake, you should be able to have both in your party and say, screw the other partner characters. <laughs> be honest with you. Welcome to the Golem Laboratory. Got everything I need from my own laboratory. Let's heat it up. Impressive, eh? There's still some things missing. Those are life balls and logic blocks. And I won't just give them to you. I'm gonna test to see if you got what it takes, kid. I'm using problems quoted from my book, Basic Golemology. Have you ever read it? I'm gonna say, what's that? Of course you don't know. I haven't published it yet. Well, back a traveling merchant came and begged me to publish it. He made me buy an old pen and some ridiculous paper for a ridiculous amount. So I decided to put my thoughts on paper. The merchant never came back for the manuscript. He tricked me. 
I always carry it because it is the fruit of my labor. Well, here it is, Serena. When you've finished, I'll come back and we'll start the test. Oof. All right, well, I'll go for it for the sake of the stream. Golem's composition. Question, what are the necessary components? Answer, completed body and logic blocks. The body of the golem determines its power level and the logic blocks provides the action patterns of the weapons it equips. Golem's body. What makes up the golem's body? Answer, at least one weapon or piece of armor. Golem's body is made up by combining a light ball with one arm, one weapon and up to three pieces of armor. Performance and characteristic parameters reflect those of the materials. Logic blocks. What makes up a logic block? Answer, two pieces of equipment. Choose two pieces of equipment from your list of armor, weapons, or instruments. Each block provides a certain action pattern for a golem. Logic grid. What determines the size of the logic grid? Answer, the number of armor pieces used for the golem's body. Larger the grid, the more logic blocks it can hold for a wider variety of golem actions. So it's kind of like a literally programmable buddy. Golem's actions. What determines the logic block's type? Answer, combination of its components. Try different equipment combinations to create blocks you want for the desired patterns of your golem. Logic types. Question. What determines a logic block's shape? Answer. The combination of its components. All logic blocks have one of 11 shapes. Each block's effectiveness derives the component's parameters. Attack types. Question. What determines the golem's attack mode? Answer. The type of weapons for the golem's body. Some blocks cannot be designed to a golem if the block attack type differs from the golem's attack type. Okay. Hmm. Attack and defense level. Question. What determines golem attack and defense levels? Answer. The characteristics of the weapons and armor used. Golem parameters such as HP, attack, and defense elemental levels are determined by the components used to make its body. So does not include the logic grid size and rate of malfunction. Oh no, malfunction rate. Question. What is malfunction rate? Answer. The number of armor pieces... Oh, how is the malfunction rate determined? Answer. Number of armor pieces used as components. The higher the percentage shown on the menu screen, the more frequently a golem fails to deliver an attack. If one action fails, actions connected by wedge marks also fail to deliver. Hmm. Let's see. Choice of action. Question. How does a golem decide which action to take? Answer. By referring to its action gauge and calculating distance to the enemy. Logic grid is two axes, one is the action grid, the other is the distance between the enemy and the golem. So there's basically a lot that's going on here, but if I had to simplify it down a little bit, we're going to be basically playing Tetris with different parts. So if we take some of our old equipment, we could get some logic components out of it. I actually don't have a lot of other things to go there, sadly. So if, if we want to make a strong golem, I should probably go buy extra equipment for this. Are you ready to begin the test? Oh, right, there is the test. Yeah, so... Up upside, downside, we can customize the golem. Downside, we need to basically sacrifice items to it. I believe we can get our items back if we don't want them as logic blocks. So for example, that giant two-handed sword, I could just feed to him. And I can feed our spears in for additional attacks, for example. So we probably should never sell equipment if we want to continue stuff with the golem. We'll say we're ready. Fine, fine. Now for the test. Question, question. Real basic problem. What do you need to activate a golem? A body and block, an instrument, the right, the right atmosphere. Body and block. That's right. Question, question. Basic problem. What do you need to build a golem body? Well, we were told it was weapons and armor. It's not an instrument or money. Although technically it will be money, as we'll probably be purchasing stuff rather than crafting weapons. So the intent is that if you gather up a lot of metals and you combine them with all the random junk that we've been picking up, we can create super weapons, which in turn could create super golems. I'm gonna be honest with you, I played with this like very, very little <laughs> growing up. I just stuck with the monster all the way through. Question, question. Logic blocks are made from weapons, armor, and what else? <laughs> brains? I don't think it's brains. 
I guess it's musical instruments. Is Golem an instrument? Sort of. That's right. Not bad at all. Here's one life ball. Question, question. What determines the size of the logic grid? The brains of a golem. Uh, preschool education? Number of battles, number of armor pieces. Pretty sure it's A. That's right. Question, question. What determines the type of logic block? Genes? Oh no. How much you use it? Component composition. I think it's A again. There we go. Like, A, B, C on the list. Not bad. Here's another light ball. Has the final has the final option like of A B C? Has it ever been C? I don't think so. What is the combination of prime components used to make the golem determine? Tech and defense, logic block, shape, Pacific standard time. <laughs> I feel like C is just the joke answers at least. Um, I actually don't remember. Is it B or is it A? It was B. Oh, that was a good guess. I I just guessed. I didn't remember. Question, question. What determines the golem's attack type? Uh, the we mood. The weapon's color, the weapon's type. No, it's not mood, it's the weapon's type. Ludana questioning his own existence. Not bad, here's the last light ball. Light balls are globular crystals of pure mana, indeed needed for making golems. Can't make a golem body without one. Can't activate the golem without a logic block. Let's get on with the test. Question, question. Golem's attack power is determined by that of the weapons used as materials. Yeah, we need to, we need better materials. So the moment we get a stronger town, we could get a better golem. What determines the defense power? The armor is sent. Number of armor pieces, armor is defense power. Um... Is it armor is defense power? I don't remember. Okay, a yeah, good guess. Question, question. What determines malfunction rate? That I remember. It's amount of armor used. Number of sorties. How malfunctions? Oh no. We're gonna say amount of armor used. Question, question. Vertical axis on logic board represents the attack age. So what does the horizontal represent? Love, hit points, or distance to the enemy? It's distance to the enemy. So it has never been C, or the final option of these, or three. However you want to represent that. That's right. Oh my. You passed. I present you with a logic block jar. Make logic blocks by putting weapons, armor, and instruments inside. Can't activate golems without a logic block, so use the straw well. And I'll give you this. Basic golemology acquired. I leave my research to you. Your lavender scented armor raises evasiveness, oh no. Fine. Now I'll explain how to actually make a golem here. Make it a body. Talk to one of the three pedestals. Talk to the jar to make a logic block. Talk to the jar to organize or throw away your blocks. Retire from Golemology, so I want you to continue my research. Had enough of it, and it takes a lot of cash. <laughs> Spoilers, you need to grind really hard to make them useful, or you get really good at crafting. Fine, fine. To create an activated golem, you'll need some money. To make a body, you'll need at least one armor, or one weapon and three pieces of armor. Need 16 weapons, armor, instruments to make six blocks. Do you see how expensive this is, chat? That's kind of crazy. The parameter says, what does armor do? A, raise defense, B, raise attack, C, pay your taxes, something like that. Preparing the materials takes a lot of time. Wish you luck in continuing my research of golemology. Try hard. See that making golems is a lot of fun. I'm going home. To help you get started, I want you to have this. Meadows Bronze. Corsina Iron. Oh, Iron's actually good. Grand Steel's even better. Fine, fine. Good luck in your research. Maybe I should actually just craft a spear for myself with that. Golem, go make him. The end. Look how happy Robot Buddy is. So yeah, we, we basically have none of the weapon types, so it's going to be very hard to create a good golem without doing a lot of shopping. Fortunately, though, we should be coming up to a point where I will make another town. Which may or may not invalidate needing to craft a weapon. I love the chocobo teleporting every time. 
Golemy Wolemy? Oh no. Although, if I remember correctly, we should be coming up to what'll probably be a chat favorite quest. It might initiate another command based off of this, we'll see. I guess it gets- I don't think I have anything worth making a crafted weapon with yet. We- we need one more thing to unlock before we can really super break crafting. As you can see, there's kind of like a tree stump here. Eventually, that's gonna turn into another workshop, but we haven't unlocked it yet. Yeah, see how it's just kind of like d stopped over there? Wait, Golden Laboratory's in the middle? Oh, my bad. I thought it was on the left side. I could see what the best thing we could craft is at the moment, though. So we can temper, we can alter, we can look at encyclopedias if we want to get an understanding of different weapons we could create. Uh, let's try to make another spear. Uh, I probably want grand steel. the Grand Spear. I could temper it. So it's got 22, so it's a little better than what we're using currently. I could arbitrarily pick an item. It wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Oh. Oh, what was it with... Oh, there was something exploitable with Clear Feathers. There's like a magic hat you can create. It required like four clear feathers and an eye or something like that. I'm gonna hold on to those for now. I guess I could add a vampire fang. That sounds fun. Let's see what that did to our thing. We tempered the grand sphere. So it had 22 attack. I don't think we can make it worse per se. We gave it extra stats, I've noticed. So we get some spirit and charm. Which again, it's an upgrade over what we're using. So I'm not gonna say no to it. So in theory, if I don't really care about the results of the crafting, I could just craft stuff on it. But there are things that basically act as multipliers that you do last. Maybe we'll showcase it once I get better items. Although it looks like it can only upgrade things that are not currently being worn. Could upgrade the Brave Blade. Do a small seed on it. Hammer that Brave Blade with the seed. But yeah, crafting is probably the most obtuse thing in the game. The Golem, while complicated, is at least explained to you. The weapon crafting, not so much. Wait, did Small Seed actually pump its attack power? I think it did. Hold on a second, chat. <laughs> we're we're equipped down to our bare hands. I think it did. I remember using a lot of seeds. I just didn't remember what they did. So I'm. Oops, I don't want to forge. I mean, I could just make a junk spear for later. Like a lizard scale one. The worst thing is it ends up. It's the Lisa spear. And we can temper a weapon. See, it's weaker than the other option. So we have a grand spear. I'm gonna use a small seed again. So 
So remember, it was at 22 attack. Let's see how much it's at now. So it did go up to 23. Interesting. It will get a lot stronger. Like, we, we can forge, like, a million things on it just for clarity. It's not like it's a one and done. It's like a, here's how to make a super weapon, and it's, like, 17 or 18 items long. Essentially, we want to max as many essences as possible on the weapon and as few items as possible, and it could get kind of obtuse. But on the plus side... Let's see, I don't learn anything else there. We have a slightly better spear. So even if we immediately replace it with another spear, showcase, showcase a little minor, mostly balanced crafting. But yeah, there's a specific combo with Clear Feather. I'll, I'll double check, or maybe I'll remember it as we go forward. double checking where this is so up next we will be placing lumina finally and that's in kind of a weird spot so firefly lamp is what we need so we have the caverns here caverns were the eighth thing that we placed so we're gonna place it here to set up for something later that should be good. Sorry about the pauses here. I'm, I'm just double checking every time. Oh, apparently it's just three clear feathers and a seed. My bad. I thought it was an eyeball. So I could craft the really stupid item. <laughs> no, watch out. Let's showcase the stupid item. I might as well show. So, like, seeds are not really hard to find. And basically, there are the bird monsters we fought a little earlier that are fairly common throughout the game. And you could get, like, stupid gross amounts of money. I will choose not to sell it for now. I'll probably just use it as, like, legitimate equipment. <laughs> yeah, you could create some pretty crazy armors. Like, right now, we have, like, basically no money. But if we want to... Yeah, you could do it, I think, with three feathers. I don't think it really matters. Go this way. Guess we can make it. No, we're not gonna alter the armor. We're gonna forge, I think, a helmet. Or is it a hat? Actually, I better check. <laughs> I don't remember what this is considered. Hmm. Give me one second, chat. I'm just looking it up. I think it needs to be this. Interesting. <laughs> I'm finding everything but what I'm looking for. I mean, that's fine. I'm not going to worry about that right now. So let's talk about some broken combos for people that were curious. So if I want to create a completely ludicrously broken item, we need a round seed, which I have. Three sulfur, I don't think I have that. Round seed, which I think I got rid of. Uh, a needle lettuce, which we have. An ear of wheat. Uh, spiny seed, poison fangs, spiny seed, lillipods, and nine meats. We could create an item that gives plus 20 to all stats and shares experience. So there's that. We don't have the other things at the moment. Oh, you know what it is. Actually, I take that back. We don't have the core item yet to do this. So if we could create the wind cap, 
we could create the super version of it with four feathers, but there's a version, I think, with just three. That also works. I guess what I could do just to showcase this in general... Why don't we pick... Let me think. An armor? Let's just, let's just make a normal one. Let's use, uh, iron, maybe? We'll just make a normal armor to showcase this. So yeah, I think we had the seeds earlier. If I didn't use the round seeds earlier, we would have been fine. Oh. I can't equip that? Why? Um... I mean, it has really great stats, but I can't wear it. Why can't I wear this? Is there something I forgot about armor? That's kind of unfortunate. Today we learned... <laughs> I wasted a good material. Well, good relative to where we are in the game. It's bad for late game. But we wasted an easy upgrade. Do I have... Is there another armor type in there? Interesting. Oh, there is a Hallberg. Maybe armor doesn't work with two-handed stuff? I didn't think it mattered. I guess it does. We'll make it with lizard scales, I guess. We need extra armor anyway for the golem. So even if I can't use it right away, it's still fun. I'm double checking what the restriction is on armor and specifically why we can't wear it. see anything in here. So anyway, we had the Menos. Which doesn't offer a lot of defenses, but this one does. So at least this is a pretty clear upgrade. Touch it up with the survival. So we end up with armor that raises a ton of physical defense, and I'm really scared about magic attacks. I could equip the other thing to reduce magic damage. We'll check on this real quick, and then we'll proceed with the plot. So I got a heart mint. I don't know what the other ones are. Could be cabadillos. Anyway, fortunately we're not getting into many combats. Also, I love that we only have 3,000 lucre. <laughs> we're so poor. I think we could buy, like, two things, by the way, chat, just for clarity. So we've been doing, like, bare minimum combat. Which, again, I think it's mostly fair. Totally removing combat from the game seems very silly to me. Like, sometimes it is useful, but honestly... We don't do that many fights in this game to begin with. I guess we'll go to Lumina. Looking for a shop before we go further. Talk to the sapling. The cow isn't anywhere. He's in my mind. Dub Chad. Are you the shop I'm looking for? Oh, Nicklo's here. Don't talk to Nicklo. Don't talk to No, don't talk to Nicklo. <laughs> Alright, Chad, no no no. I don't want to do the quest out of order. We'll come back to Nicklo. Don't worry about that. Right now we don't need him. We're like, Niccolo, go home. Buy item. Ooh, so there are the crystals. The crystals are pretty good. Yeah, we can't even afford, like, a basic element here. We're so far behind in terms of money. It's kind of funny.
I'm Monique, the Landmaker. My lamps aren't selling too well. I only need to sell six more. Maybe I should close the shop and go to another town. I stumbled onto the correct event at least. Oh no, my love! Don't say such a crazy thing! Are you saying that you're leaving your poet of love, Gilbert? I can't live without looking up at the starry sky with you by my side. I think he's a centaur. But I will starve to death if I don't sell my lamps. Okay, listen to my idea, my love. I'll sell all six lamps for you. Well, that is very nice of you. Wait for me right there, my darling. Here begins our beautiful love story. Fairy's Light. That is the correct quest. Gilbert is such a nice person. He's a little weird, though. Oh, you, the traveler there, take these. You can't leave Monique in distress like that, can you? Let's go sell those six lamps for her. I'll buy my share of lamps, but you should go sell them. Each one costs a thousand lucre. Of course, you could buy them yourself. Buy them, go sell them. Yeah, right. Damn, we'll say go sell them. What a good sport. Willing to help out with my love. Well, if the lamps were in a thousand lucre, I'm sure they'd sell more. Oh, Monique, how I long to have you in my arms. Hmm. Love how I just kind of vibrate on that one spot. Oh, can you actually go up here? Oh, you, could, you can, it just doesn't go anywhere. Random guy able one says I'm not paying my taxes. Welcome. Heartbreaker Jessica's. So I believe we gotta go... to the next area. Don't think there's anything we could do here yet. Capella's here. I never understood what was up with this guy. Is he supposed to be like 2D? He kind of is. He's like a puzzle piece. What a weird design for a character. <laughs> Taxes are probably important to pay though. The Dug Bears are regulars here, so I picked up their language. Would you like to learn the Dud Bear language too? Hey okay, chat, you ready to take notes? Teach me. First, Dub. This is a greeting, it also means yes. Dud means no. It's also used as goodbye. Dubba is you. Duda is me. There we go, chat. Dubba means friends. Boo boo means dud bear. Wait. Wait. What? You would think dud bear would mean dud bear, but whatever. And goo goo is for all other creatures. Da means light. And stars. And Ba means night. Dada is lamp. Dubaba means many or very. And Du stands for little. Baba means music. They sure do love music. Oh, don't tell them about Baba is you, though. Dada means please, and Gak is used to show displeasure. Yeah, we don't want to see Gak. Gak means I messed up. Use Bub when you don't understand. Bub chat. You're trying to sell lamps, say... Dada Dada. Dubba Dub. Um. I'm gonna say Dub because that's an exclamation mark and I think that means yes. Haha, <laughs> sounds pretty good. Well, time to sell some lamps. Duda Boo Boo, Duba Boo Boo. Uh. No? Duda da ba, duba da ba. I want to sell him. The bottom one is I want to sell lamps. So until I think I'm done, I don't hit the bottom one. I think that's also no. Duda duba ba ba, duda duba duba ba ba duba. Bub exactly. Um. 
I think this is fine. Duba, Duda, Dubba Dub. I think now I can ask him for the lamb. We got the lamb. Dub. Yeah, there are a lot of words to remember. I only remembered a handful. I went off a gut instinct on that one, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Other than, like, you're using a combination of yes, no. And if I ask for lamps too early... Ooh. Um... I'm gonna go with yes. Duba dubba, no. Duda dub dubba. Mm, I think that's also no. Duba duba, yes. Okay. So basically, if I see this line, I think it was roughly translating, or maybe I misremember from earlier, that we're friends. So the moment we become friends with them, I think we could just sell them the lamp. Yeah. So basically, we're, they're just asking different, very basic questions. But have fun with that, chat. That is quite a lot. So we're looking for another one to sell stuff to. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. I don't want to talk to them. I'll talk to them later. There we go. Yeah, forming sentences with that is kind of crazy. Duba gak duba. Ooh, displeasure. Um, I'm gonna say no to the displeasure. Duba gak boo boo. No. Boo boo. Yes. Okay, now we're friends. Do you want a lamp? Wow, they just have thousands of lucre on them. Dub. So I think we're done with the quest. Okay, that went okay. I remembered like a handful of phrases and they were apparently the right ones to remember. You sold them all. What talents you have. It's now time to open your heart to me, sweet Monique. Come with me. I'll show you what true love is. Clippity-cloppity, he's going into the store. Oh, my strawberry! We sold all of your six lamps. Oh my, that is wonderful. You put your heart into making them, baby. Of course they're sold. Then I shall stay here longer as the lamp maker. Oh, darling, not as a lamp maker. You will become the sunlight that will brighten my world. Come on, my love. Let's go out to feel the shower of stars above us. The world was created just for today to happen. I was thinking about going out there, too. I've been inside six full days working on those lamps. Oh, forgot she had wings. Past as she goes. <laughs> Look at the chocobo just like jam it out. You go, chocobo. Let's eavesdrop on their event. Monique, I have a dream I wish to tell you. Sure, Gilbert. Let's talk about our dreams. Just grab a passerby and you'll sell all your lamps. A few fans of my lamps come from afar just to buy them. Let those dead bears do the dirty, messy work. I really enjoy the time and effort that I put into them. Let's have a famous designer make a masterpiece. It's fun to gather odds and ends to make unique lamps. That's all we'll do, and we'll be rich before we know it. I have no income, but the joy I get out of my work is what I live for. He dot dot dots. Don't you have dreams? This is depressing me. <laughs> Damn. She dot dot dots that. Every day is like a dream come true to me. You make me feel as if I'm denying who I am. Or excuse me, Denny eyeing. I see that typo there. Come, my princess. Let's go out and see the world. Which of my dreams do you see as an illusion? My dreams? Nightly dreams? Hopeful dreams? He dot dot dots. Monique, our dreams don't seem to play in perfect harmony. I must leave this town to look for a new love. Oh my, Gilbert. You came to that conclusion quickly. After I recover from the shock, I too shall find a new love. I feel like she sassed him there. Goodbye, love. I shall never forget you, baby. Goodbye, Gilbert. Goodbye. 
clip clop, clip clop. Anyway, we'll be seeing a lot of Gilbert. And we could potentially get a bad ending with Gilbert. And then not be able to resolve any of his quests. <laughs> That's fun. Gilbert was a little strange, but he was a nice guy. He wants a much bigger lamp than the little ones I have. Size is completely meaningless. Because all that matters is that it works, right? Um, sure? To be honest, I'm just a little bit depressed. Dub. Huh? I wonder if that was innuendo. Like, translated innuendo? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Dub a dub a dub. Da ba 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 dub. I don't remember that many bars before. Oh my. Dub bob dub 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 do bob do ba do ba do bob bob dub. Really? You think so? I feel like any minute she's gonna be like, "What's that?" Timmy stuck down the well. <laughs> it's got the same feeling for it. I recognize a couple of those words, but not all of them. Dada. Oh no, I'm the one who should thank you. And away they go. The duck bears told me they really love my lambs. That's why I love this job. This is so great. Here, take this. We got the artifact trembling spoon. There you go, chat. Fairy's light. The tree is slowly growing in the upper left hand corner. That's kind of the indicator of how far you are in the plot. Once the tree goes full bloom, cer certain things will happen. But right now, just the budding tree. Let's go hand that in. I'm checking to see where I have to place the next thing. Okay. Not too bad. Oh, you didn't give me that time, bud. Oh, the stairs got me, though. Damn. Sweating it for trash talking. Immediately punished. Dub. So there you go, chat. You ready to form your dud bear sentences? I was wondering if it was worth doing, like, an exclamation mark dud bear. I just pick all the many phrases that were in the game just then. <laughs> yeah, most of the phrases I remembered were yes, no, many friends, do you want lamps, we're friends, displeasure. That was like pretty much, those are the only words I really remembered, like point for point. Everything else was, I hope that's correct. Oh, it's the basil spade or spade basil, whatever it's called. Also, I forgot to mention, they don't mention it yet, but if we go to make a golem later, like right now, I think we just don't have enough equipment for it. Uh, we can use produce to color the robot. So, for example, I believe if we use the peach puppy, we could get a pink golem. And whatever color the produce is matches it. I think we could get all of the weapons and armor we use to create the golem back, so we could continually cycle the items. The problem is that it is spade basil. It does require you to... unfortunately make a lot of equipment. And since we're pretty early in the game, we don't have a lot of those options, sadly. Here's some seeds, long seeds, spiny seed, small seed, flat seed, big seed, oblong seed. Wow, that was actually pretty good. I want to just keep one of each for now. Since we have one still growing, I'm not going to worry about that for now. Okay, so I believe we're going to place our 12th 
artifact out of 26. So we're almost halfway through with artifacts, but we are not that close to the end of the game still. So the 12th artifact should be the medallion, which we got earlier. We're going to place it, I believe, right next to the water here. Yes. So let's go to the jungle. The jungle is quite a distance from the home, so I imagine the enemy difficulty will be up pretty significantly. So we're gonna meet, meet another bunch of characters we haven't seen so far. Please listen up. This is your lucky day. You go catch a ducade and bring its tail back, and what'll happen? Uh, I don't know. Jeez, you just don't get it, do you? Uh, so what happens? You will cancel our debt for us. Ain't that right, Mr. Funny Duddy? I'm not Mr. Funny Duddy. Please address me as Sotheby. And your debt is not completely cancelled either. The 10 million Wooker debt will be reduced to 9 million 980,000 Wooker. Uh, how come we owe you so much money? We just house cleaners at your boss's mansion. You just don't get it, do you? Mr. Funny Daddy cheated us. I did not cheat you. You must pay for all the things you broke. Ah, uh, well. Toil, says the proverb, is the sire of fame. Uh, what's that mean? You catch 500 ducates and your debt's cancelled. Uh, hey! That's easy! Dot dot dot. My name is not Mr. Funny Duddy. Not in ducate. Talk to you. I will award you 20,000 Wooker for each Duke tail you bring me. A real rarity. There we go. He's channeling his inner Charlotte on that one. Oh, can't go that way. Oh. I think I just go back. Why, right, it's a Willipy. Just one will fetch 100,000 Wooker. His name is Esther Mr. Duddy Funny. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Catch it for me, and I will wood you handsomely. Hmm. Oh. Oh no. I like how it got by me, even though I literally intercepted it. It was a will with you right there, but it got away. Wah. I'm surprised if we don't just capture it. This is the closest place to the land of fairies. Be careful not to get lost. It's going upwards. Humans are always so annoying. I hate them. Hmm. Qua. I think we need to follow him to avoid getting lost. I think if I don't do this, we just end up going in circles, but Manny goes really slow. Alright, which path are you going down? Look at him go. Bet this blockhead can't find this pathway. Wah. Blank eye, not bad. So yeah, so until we do this, I think he's gonna go this way. Yeah. Can I beat him here? Do I have to actually wait for him? How how escort quest is this? Ooh, I don't see him. Maybe I do have to wait for him? That kinda sucks. 
Oh, uh, we gotta wait for him, seriously? Oh, this is like East all over again, chat. Oh no. Terranigma flashbacks intensify. Please go off screen. Oh, look at the Chocobo fidgeting out there. You better go to the next area. There we go. Oh, we got a fight here regardless. Interesting. Maybe he doesn't do that then? We got a new attack, right? Oh, I unequipped my spear, so I unequipped my techniques. Whoops, we gotta go fix that. I forgot that was a thing that can happen. We never... I guess I did unequip a bare hand briefly. That's my fault. I want to try out the techniques that we got earlier. Wind cap. There we go. I think you're the one I'm looking for. Hi there. Cast is falling you so you won't get lost. Perfect. So with this, now we can finally progress the plot. So let's go to equip things. So I've toss evade. We have fool's play, which is major damage. So let's see where we are in the list. So we did Lancinator, Cyclone Racer, Rewind, Pools Play. So Toss and Evade is done. We do High Jump and Somersault for the next one. So again, all these skill usages will carry over to the other ones. We just have to potentially use them a little tiny bit more. So we can switch it to Fool's Play for major damage. I'd like L1 for my cancels. I like Twister on R2 and my long range attack on L2. I do Cyclone Racer there, maybe. So all my AoEs are on the shoulder buttons. I'm leaving L1 there so I can cancel my melee moves faster. Oof. Man, <laughs> we have so many points in skill, but none of it is in power. Man, our stats are definitely uh, interesting. I didn't mean to talk to him, I just kind of bumped into him. Sharp Claw acquired. So I believe I just gotta go back to the entrance now. Ooh, was it right or up? It might have been here. Zombie. We didn't fight that before. Use Fool's Play. Ooh, it's a grab? Ooh, that's very risky. You know what's not risky, though? This beautiful combo. I did get wind cap. That's one of the things I needed for the money, by the way. So killing these spiny head things will give me the item that I need. Which is bad for them. I think it's an okay armor piece if I want to wear it. Yeah, it gives like... Literally wind resistance. Which makes sense. Wind cap. Yeah, we could create some very broken things with that if we want to. I love it really wants us to wear dragon bone, and I'm like, nah, let's not. Curiosity about what's over here. And we'll go back the other way. Oh, that just loops here. Interesting. Alright, so from the entrance. Assuming nothing else changes here. Ah, so no, no dialogue changes. We're gonna go to the right. I believe we could go this way now successfully. Uh, 
Was there a path here before? Uh, who cares? Gotta go check it out. Ooh, chest. So I think if I did not talk to the fairy, he would not be here and this path would not be here. So that's why we were why we had to get the excuse me, not the fairy. We had to get the magic that let us not get lost. So we needed that to advance the plot. Uh, something's going on over that way. Get ready. Uh, I think we should follow him. So I like kind of remember. Whoa. Uh, hey, cheater. Uh, guess you didn't find nothing yet, huh? There's no dew cake, but there's a big animal back there. Maybe get some more dough for that one. Uh, it's gonna be money? That's not the right way. Listen to me for once. Oh, you know what? I could have brought, uh, I think Bud here. That was a mistake. I think this is one of the ancients. So I'm gonna, let me write down how to get here. I'm gonna need to know this for later. Alright, so jungle was from the entrance. I believe it was right, right. I don't know if there were two paths. I'm gonna put upper right. Right. Upper right. Up. Uh, upper left. I think that should lead to the throne room. So in case I need to come back later, I'll just refer to that. Hampson went into the fairy's territory. Don't go in or you'll be sent back to the entrance. Said so check out the room I was in. There's a funky animal in there. Teleport he goes. Yeah, there's the pig thing. Got acid. Uh, my name is Rowan. My sister Selkie went to check why the fairies have been acting weird. She went to the courtyard of rain, but she might be hiding elsewhere now. Um, could you go look for her after you catch Ducate? Maybe later. Ducate has been causing trouble around here lately. Try working with others to catch him. Sure, pig thing. I think I don't want to go to the fairies, or they just say be gone. I think I go back this way. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I just go back? Hmm. Oh, there he is. I'm looking for him. I've seen Ducate like a million times. There's no way I could catch him by myself. Listen here, why don't you work with me, huh? Uh, we'll work with him. And I'll move in to corner him. Let's go. So basically, if I tell them that I'm working with the other one, they won't progress. Oh, I just can't find him. So we're basically tricking them by talking to each of them and saying we'll work with them, but not saying that they're actually working together. Uh, how about you and me working together? We'll say work with him. Oh, uh, thanks. I'll ramble through and get him to come out here. Okay, right, now, I believe if we start going to the right, we can follow them. And they'll lead me to the boss. Well, I won't lose him this time. So this only happens if you talk to both of them. Rog. Oh, the wiggle walk. There we go. So now something should happen here. So I checked here earlier. I didn't see them and turned around. Because I remembered. Uh, we'll go for fool's play here. This should work. I should be in melee range. There we go. Oh, that just straight up one shot? Damn. So major damage is pretty strong at this point, chat. It might justify the pause to kill them. Maybe. Definitely against Tomato Man here. Oh, speaking of which. We probably just need more high jump usage. 
But sadly, we have almost all the spear skills already, so we might move on to another weapon. We'll see. Poison powder, sure. That was one of the items I mentioned earlier. Yeah, like, that skill is worth it, because it kills basically almost all of them. So even if there's, like, an awkward delay. The AoE potential of that skill is pretty solid. I love how much health the Chocobo has, chat. Look at it. We're getting Eclipse in HP. Chocobo's the real MVP. We're just his buddy. We're his plucky sidekick. I just wanted to shove them away. And again, that has really good range. What a fantastic skill. Long seed. Oh, I want more seeds. Well, there's the T-Rex thing. They're called Tyrannos. Look how much HP this thing has. Do you see it resisting combos? Which is why if you want to chain powers, it's not a bad idea to do. Again, some enemies have resistance, some don't. That thing's worth a lot of XP. So we're getting, like, last-minute level-ups before the boss, which is useful. At least if it increases power, it's useful. Spring of the Beasts. So sadly, we're kind of getting a pallet swap monster already, even though there are many enemy types we have not seen for bosses. Which is a little unfortunate. Oops. Oh. Actually, that works, right? Okay, so it can kind of work. There's like an awkward spot where I can't hit it with normal attacks. Unfortunately, Spear should just do this. There we go. That should do big damage. So we could kind of start off with their basic combo and then chain uppercuts. Yeah, that was smooth. I dropped it once, but other than that, it's pretty nice. You see, we were taking massive damage. If chat didn't notice earlier, <laughs> we took like 40% from one hit. So we're kind of glass cannoning, apparently, despite going spear build. There you go, run in place, run in place! Uh, <laughs> you know, you and me sure don't get along. Uh, but we're both wimps. Can't do a thing when we need to. Thank you for your cooperation, all. Yeah, yeah, let's go. And I thank you for helping us out. Here's 500 Wooker. I'm gonna choose to give it to the others, because I think we get a better item if we do this. Oh, Genoas. Hampson and Skippy, follow this person's example. I wake people like you. Please take this. Hey, that's not nice. AF. Sand Rose acquired, the artifact acquired. Oh wait then, what's at home for now? Ta wa wa. Uh, ta la la. We're moving up in the world. Does he sell hamburgers and root beer? Maybe. Hunt and do Kate. Okay, so so far not too bad. Probably do like one or two more quests. I think we're making very solid progress. So I think we just completed like a third of the game so far. We're gonna go back to the jungle, but I'm gonna go save the event first. And due to this long walk, maybe the produce is ready. Yeah, there's kind of like four main stories, I would say, that kind of happen that you need to... 
maybe not C. There's some of them you, you, it's, they're kind of chained together. Some I think are more optional than others. Oops, let's go get this. I love the pineapple o'clock thing. Pine o'clock, whatever. So we started one. One involves the jewel hunter we saw earlier. Nicholas business is technically a smaller one that we also started. Gilbert is also involved. He has his own art. There is yet another one we haven't seen. We saw a little bit, I think it with Diana in the Luan Highway saying that somebody she knows is dying due to a demon. So we've technically started the demon arc. Ooh, we only got one seat back from that. That's super bad, actually. Oof. Rip our seeds, I guess. You almost got me, bud. You almost, almost. I'm gonna make sure I did this out of paranoia. Glad I did that. See, I think I got enough time for one more. Then we'll read over the diary entries. As I said before, there's, what was this, 69 events or 68? And we're already past 20. We're making some pretty good progress through the game. I imagine within like four more sessions, we'll be pretty close to the end. We'll do a quick check here. So we're 22 out of the 68 or so. So almost a third of the way through the game in two sessions. Let's see. I could bring the other AI partner with me, I guess, if I want to. I feel like more often than not, they kind of mess up my combos. It's really fun in multiplayer, though. It's really fun to have other players just kind of, or people come in and wombo combo with you. I guess I could briefly stop at Lumina. I didn't see a place where I could buy equipment, but I should have been able to. Actually, let's not risk it. Let's just go to the jungle. I would like to get an actual, like, serious upgrade at some point. And I think if we run out of spear skills to learn, I think I will switch to the two-handed sword at some point. Just so that we can showcase more things in the game. Since we are going through the spear skills at a pretty good rate. I mean, look at that. We're up to 10 techniques already. That's pretty good. It's a shame not all of them are super worth it. I believe there are like 15 or 16 for the spear, so we're like two-thirds of the way there. Let's use the psychic service here. Psycho Connect teleport service. All it costs is your love. Hmm. I think they mentioned the Courtyard of Fairies last time. Or Courtyard of Rain, I mean. Let's go open the chest. We acquired moss. Hello, moth. Oh, I didn't cancel that properly. That was scary. Ooh, I'm not canceling. There we go. There's the cancels. Gotta get the rhythm. It's not quite button mashy. Like, I do have to time it somewhat close to my button press. Sadly, I missed an item there. Hi there. Press this fell on you so you won't get lost. So, that took us here. Twister. So right now we have some pretty solid spear skills. Like I like this one for stunning them. The sleep element here is actually super good to get uninterrupted combos. 
That's always nice. M. Batian? What is that? Is that a weapon? It is. Ooh, ew! Ew! It's only a 10 attack? Ugh. It raises magic damage if you're using instruments, but man, that is terrible. That's even worse than our starting weapon. Could you imagine downgrading at this point? How terrible that is? No, thank you. I'd like to not do half of my damage. Yeah, imagine getting this far in. We're like 12 areas into the game, and we got something worse than our literal starting weapon. Like, that's embarrassingly terrible. Okay, so now that we're here, I think we could go to the Forested Ruins as a shortcut. Oh, actually, then I don't even need to have the instructions. That's interesting. Tee <laughs> I'm like Selkie. Nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Rowan. Hope they're not asking to find the other person anymore. Alright, so now... Some, now this time I want to go here on purpose. Humans must leave. Inesh Netia Heg Wa Kavari Quilm. And then we just get wrecked. So now if we try walking there, we would normally get trolled, but I'm going to cheat and basically teleport back here. And we're gonna go remove the curse. Do you want to get rid of, like, the evil spell cast on you? Yes. Will you do me a favor? Yes. Yay, okay, like, here's the de-evil spellifying spell. The fairies in this forest have been acting really weird. So could you try finding out what they're... why they're like that? Okay, I will. Really? Like, thanks, tee hee. The Murmuring Forest. Let's see how we got a special icon there. That's how you know the quest is important. The other ones are kind of like... you know, one-offs. You see a special icon behind them? Serious quest. So we're finally going to be introduced to one of the remaining characters we have not seen yet. So when we were watching the intro of the game at the beginning of the session, we saw, I think, literally all the named characters outside of, like, the detective, who, we, who we've already met, for sure. This should be a new one. This piece of trash does not have any elemental powers. Me one with stronger powers to become a queen. Bring the priestess of Gato's temple. The priestess looks like a million-year-old hag. Is she the one? No, Lord Irwin said the priestess is 26. Has not our lord mistaken her age? That is too young. Our last queen was 28,732 years old. The new queen is a human. They only live for about 500 years. Her lifespan is that short? I hear it's even shorter. There you go, Chad. Just live to be 500. Easy. Why has her lord chosen a human to be our queen? What are you doing to her, fairies? Damn, he's just straight up going on a murder spree. Look at him go, Chad. Are you alright? She doesn't say anything. You, take her to Rosiati. Rosiati should be over to the east of here. He'll, he'll be able to help her. He's one of the wisdoms. We nuns walk on our own two feet. We do not rely on so-called wisdoms. Damn fairies. When did they become Erwin's henchmen? This is the forest of fairies. You better leave. Must not start any wars between humans and fairies. He says after having genocided the entire room. Avoid any battles if you can. He says having genocided the entire room. Stunned. 
It is kind of unfortunate the Lance moves forward with the thrust. I wish it didn't actually do that. It would actually be safer if it stayed where it was, which is a bit unfortunate about that thrust attack. Do that to knock them backwards. Did he... He grabbed me out of Moon Jump? You could do that? That's not fair. There we go. Stab it away, chat. Bonk. Just want to make sure I'm using the right one. High Jump Moon Salt. And I didn't accidentally learn the technique. I don't think we did. No, I don't see it in here. Must just need a lot of spear usage. Unfortunately, you also- I think what would have also helped with the combos is if there wasn't a big delay between when you can attack and special, that also probably would have been a bit better. Because I had to wait for my animation to go completely neutral. Nice, I got seeds. You know what? I'm gonna fight these again for seeds. I had to wait for my animation to basically go neutral in order to special. It would have been nice if I uppercut and I could just cancel the animation into a technique, or at least be grounded. Like, if I'm in the air, that's fair to not do that. But I feel like if I do, like, jab, I should jab immediately in this special. It would have also been nice if the weaker techniques came out faster. I think that's something where you could still have, like, the cinematic pause. It still could have been more interesting. So, like, the major damage ones have a big charge up, but they do, like, millions of damage. So it's all good. Hoping to hit the Tyrannosaurus thing. When it confuses him, too. It's actually huge. I can't believe he hit me from there. That was actually insane. Nice level ups. The Chocobo is on its third health bar. Man, Chad, we're getting eclipsed by the Chocobo. Look at the- look at that thing's stats! Holy! We're getting eclipsed so hard! Look at this! Holy, we're so bad comparatively. Look at that. It outstrengths us. It's got double our HP score. Jeez, this thing is an actual monster. Holy. He's only got 17 attacks, so we outdamage him, but he's as tanky as we are currently. Holy. Unkillable. Kevin's the true hero, I think so. What's a human like you doing here? Get out of my sight! What's going on? Just like you, a man came to ask about Lord Erwin a while ago. Lord Erwin has lived in the land of fairies for the last 10 years. He's the blood of a demon in him and he possesses absolute power. He will become the king of both worlds. That is all I'll tell you. Now leave or you'll be punished. You shall be punished. Yeah, yeah, whatever, they all say that. Stun lock? Oh. Yeah, there we go. We... Jokopo's going in. You can tell the aggression food we've been feeding him is paying off. Like, he is actually actively attacking. I think Chat can agree. Like, he's definitely more active than he was before. No! I got trolled! He pushed him out of the way! No! That would have killed him. Trolled by Chocobo. Chocobo, to Chocobo buddy betrayal. Easy fight. Tried to have a cool finish, but got hard denied by AI. So sad. Many fairies feel hatred towards mankind. What should we do, Rosiati? I think he's sleeping, right? Um, he's been asleep the whole time. Dot, 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 dot. Well, whatever will be, will be. Are you sure? But, um, psh, I guess.
Murmuring Forest and... Uh, I could probably do one more. That actually didn't take as much time as I thought. No. Let's go back to record our progress. We did get a couple seeds, which is nice. I mean, I guess if we just keep fitting the chocobo, it should power up quite significantly. Cherry Bomb's a good one. I could use the Lillipods in making that one item. If I want to. Little Wiggles there. he gives us more than one seed or not he just gives us a seed again what a troll the big struggle chat we'll give him double big seed then hopefully he comes up with something better okay so we're basically just making produce for crafting later let's hand in the quest yeah, we just got one more. This one doesn't require placing anything down, so I figured we might as well just do this one. Then we'll go through the journal entries. That should put us close to uh, our stopping point for the night. So we're actually going to be returning back to the grottos. So surprisingly, we're actually following up on the quest instead of just meandering and doing random things in between. So we heard them talk about wanting to go to the uh, Gato Grottos. And that there is the old woman who's bedridden that we heard mentioned earlier. That turns out she's only 26, but she's very old. So we could probably put two and two together to assume that she's related to the person dying to the demon curse. Mentioned by Diana earlier in the game. Let's go talk to her. Ah, uh, so we saw him up there. In fact, it looks like the next few quests are all related to each other. But sadly, we're not going to get to all of them tonight. Oh yeah, that reminds me, chat. Technically, chat has a decision to make in the future. We will get to make a decision as to what side of some of these conflicts we could go on. I don't think they lock us out of anything. It changes what bosses we fight. So hopefully chat will look forward to that in a little bit. Speaking of Diana, do you know a guy named Eska? He's Matilda's old friend and it seems like he's finally come back. He's in there. Go ahead, I will allow it. torches so we'll call this the fairy arc for back of a lip lack of a better term Matilda it's been only 10 years since I went to the underworld how is it possible you've aged so much oh Escad, you are alive it's only been 10 years since I lost two precious friends. You and... Erwin, stop thinking about that demon. 
took away your elemental powers to fuel his own ambitions. It's his fault that you've aged so much, isn't it? Don't say that. I'm not as unhappy as you think. Chocobo just immediately cutscene bombing. Who's there? So, you overheard us. I guess you know everything now. <laughs> I love our options are yes or not at all. Um... I guess I'll say yes. That's good. Now get out of here. Haven't you said enough? I want you to leave. I have learned the way of the sword from Obon. It is the wisdom's will to kill that demon. And Scat, I am overjoyed to know both of you are alive. Isn't that enough? I'm warning you. Beware of him. Do you want to know about Erwin? Say yes. Erwin, Escad, Matilda and I grew up together. Matilda was born into a family of priests, and Escad into a family of knights. My family has served the temple as warriors. Erwin has demon's blood in him, but that's all we know. But no one in this world cares about what race you are. Of course, Matilda acted the same around Escad and Erwin. Escad didn't like that at all, so he tried to kill Erwin in the mines. But it was Escad who ended up falling into the underworld. Erwin is not the one who started this, it's Escad. Hmm. Interesting. For the past 10 years, we've never had such problems. Why now? Oh, we got moved aside by a suspiciously differently colored nun. Let's go back in. Wrecked. For our lord! No! Stop! Darn it! There was someone disguised as a nun! Please, help me look for Matilda! So she mostly kept up with our levels. Her stats are pretty terrible. She does have Ultra Flog though, which I'm not gonna lie. That is that is a fun weapon for a flail. <laughs> weapon name, I mean. Damn, she even is Wendell Silver. She's outclassing us so hard right now. Around the world, backslasher, medium damage. It is a shame we can't really play as those characters unless we're playing multiplayer. I best Matilda has been kidnapped. Close off all the exits. Okay. You work for Erwin, don't you? What are you gonna do to her? I only go by Lord Erwin's plans. Too bad. <laughs> he can't leave this whole area with that sort of magic. It's gonna be his last day on Earth. Away we go. Actually, I don't see an Escad here. We're just looking for Escad. I think he's this way somewhere. I don't think he's at the other position. Um... I guess I could check the store real quick. How expensive are items again? Okay, iron is not too bad. Kinda want a glove later. Buy is super cheap here. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Let's 
So I believe we don't have to fight too much here. I think we basically just go straight to the boss. Let's go to... I guess the waterfall? Actually, wait, hold on, I just remembered. Actually, I don't think I remembered. Where did they go? Are they... Let's go up here and check. I want to see something. They might still be here? We're playing a game of find the, find the character. Okay, if they're not here, I'll go back to the dungeon. Alright, uh, they're not here. Okay, where are they? Unless they did actually leave this place. We're just getting trolled. Let, let's, let's go to the world map briefly, just to make sure they didn't go somewhere. It's been a, quite a while since I did this quest. It's not as fresh in my head. Usually this one I do is like event number 40 or something like that. So when I'm like restarting and doing stuff, I don't see anything in particular. Like, did I have to go back to the cavern? I don't think so. Let's go back in here. I know ultimately we have to be told to go somewhere. I'm just double checking something. Right. I think I know where they are. I think there's an alternate path in the dungeon that we could go to. Let's see if Escat is here. Okay, Escat is here. Leave once you're finished. I lost them. This place is too vast to search. They might be hiding, waiting until we're gone. There's a sealed meditation room we haven't searched. Would they be hiding there? It's sealed. How are we supposed to open that? I've arranged it to be open in case of emergency. I could have gotten away somehow. I'm gonna look a little more. Okay. My bad. I had the right idea of coming over here. I forgot I had to go through the dungeon. We can take you to the sealed room. What do you want to do? Yeah, let's just do that. Alright, I'll take you to the steps leading to the room. So she's kind of our mini teleport. There we go. That saved us a huge track through the dungeon, at least. <laughs> you didn't even realize this was a trap. What do you mean this was a trap? I'm gonna make you regret what you've done. Abbas Matilda. Oh. This way, Abbas. That's right. Keep her out of battle. But I'll get her back. Take her for now. The show is about to begin. <laughs> I'll take Matilda to Lord Irwin after this battle. Well, should we start the party? As you can tell, there's a lot of boss battles in this game. Here we go. Are you like the genie thing? Yeah, you're like the genie thing. Spriggan? Spriggan, yeah. Invincible, let's dodge. Oh, he did the he did the evade technique on us. That's cute. Yeah, as long as I'm standing still, I regen a little bit of health. 
I can just wait between attacks to punish. Funny enough, he teleported, but he just ended up right back in the same spot. That was kind of worth it. Okay, so he tried to escape the combo. He kind of did it. We're almost back at full health. As long as we walk away, I don't think any of his attacks are too threatening. Sadly, Chocobo Buddy took it in the face. So he's got some anti-combo measures. Like, that's kind of annoying to deal with. But he seems to be getting caught in the corner repeatedly. Also, that chain- Oh, that chain! Oh, that was disgusting. Oh, that was such a good chain. <laughs> the rapid cancels chat were real. <laughs> Thank you, Uppercut. I do like there's some bosses that have some anti-light jab prevention. Either they have super attacks that ignore it, or they're out of range of it. Which I think adds a bit of depth to the game. But yeah, man, when you learn how to cancel stuff, mmm. Humbles are real. Green weaving room. Scad, please listen to me. No, Matilda. Should rest, so I'll say it. No, I will. Escad, I do not want to give up my freedom to become a priestess. Erwin only wanted to free me from a life bound by rules. Wake up, Matilda. Stop letting that demon do this to you. Did you ever consider how Erwin will use the powers he took from you? That's enough, Escad. And you, Matilda, you need to rest. You never took me seriously, even when we were children. But I'm not going to let the demon gain any more power. Only the heavenly silence comforts me. Don't say such a thing. Got for Cena Iron. I don't know who gave us that item, but we acquired it. Two torches, the end. Okay, chance. let's take a little break here. There we go. So we have ongoing stories. We have Niccolo's unusual business. We have the junkyard where there was a war between the fairies. We sort of interacted with the fairies. But now we know about the demon blood. There's a literal place called the underworld that we'll see later in the game. So that'll be fun. Fun for the whole family, Chad. Oh, nice try, bud. Dodged you this time. I might need a dodge bud counter. <laughs> Red carpet. So we're doing super well when it comes to events here. So quite a lot of progress today. So even with the small delay to today's stream, still got over three and a half hours and it's pretty solid. So let's see, we have... Lost Princess. Finding a monkey in the caverns and saving a girl. Wow, that sounds like something out of a movie. The girl was really shy and turned red. Guess that was too much for my master. Two torches. A cat-eared woman and a long-haired man had a fight. And a grandma was kidnapped. And then the two found the grandma. I think this is kind of a... I think this kind of story is getting old. And we have, today my master saw a really big tree hanging monkey. And a really big red animal with really big attitude. Why can't they be like me? Murmuring forest. The day's adventure was in the jungle where lots of fairies live. Long-haired man was there again. Is it just me or is there trouble brewing? I think I'm psychic. Movie, they have those. Yeah, I think little cactus is a little fourth wally. Really big. Lots of penguins fell into the lake, and their captain was thrown in there by a turtle after change being changed into stone. Penguins can swim, but stone can't. Was the captain okay? What a scary, scary story. I think we did tea time last time. Daddy's broom. I threw away an old broom, and that made Bud and Lisa mad. They went and got it back, and fixed where it was broken. After everything is just hunky-dory now. Hunky-dory, there you go. Infernal doll. The junk at the junkyard really wasn't junk. They were leftovers of the artifacts used in wars long, long ago. Wow. That makes me like them a little. Well, only a little bit. 
Uh, I think a glass tower. A girl went up a tower to see her past, or something like that. Losing track of what's going on. It's getting a little bit tired of keeping my diary le <laughs> lately. There we go. Didn't even bother summarizing. Flame of Hope we did before. Fairy's late as new. Learn Dudbear words to sell lamps to Dudbears. Just what is Master up to? But it's neat that Master comes by to tell me funny stories like that. We'll get Nicola's unusual business soonish. Golem workshop. And put some stuff together and make my own golem. Esther should add that to the resume for future job hunting. There you go. Professor Bomb. There was a big chase to catch a pile of junk that ran away from a professor. How could a pile of junk run away on its own? I don't think I get it. Master, you need a rest. Let's see, it looks like there's 68 events. One of which I don't think we record in the journal. There's also ones I'm not sure if they count towards that or not. So, for example, uh, we're going to be able to see a bonus event later. Since we have extra save files. Specifically from, I think, Chocopo Racing should earn me something. Yeah. It does kickstart an event. So at some point this will be relevant, but not today. So let's chat a little bit. So yeah, we're making our way through the game. I think for the most part, you know, compared to some of the other games we've played, this probably plays the most... Oops. This probably plays the most like the other ones, or how I expected it to play. Like, Secret of Mana was definitely, like, definitely a product of its time, and, you know, Final Fantasy Adventure, I remembered being annoying with things like the Maddox. But honestly, I kind of like the combo system in this game. It's very one-sided at some points, but I do feel like if you don't pay attention to the bosses, it's very punishing, but not in a way that it's like insta-kill. So I think for the most part, it's fair. I like that I can't spam like a million healing items. So like, whatever you see me do in a boss battle, that's it. I, I don't have a really cheap way of healing or doing anything else in the battle. So... I think it's like decently challenging. It's not like hard per se at any point, but I do think there are a couple of difficulty spikes that are don't make it completely free. And I, as I said before, I do like the bosses having different uh, anti combo strategies, which I always appreciate in a game where you can't just infinite everything to death. I don't mind normal enemies being infinite, that's whatever. And even to some extent, we saw some normal enemies get out of that today, like the Tyrannosaurus was an enemy type that ignored the weak hit combo stuns. So even if you figure out like one way to loop combos, I feel like it's kind of fun to experiment with it. So I think for the most part that actually held up pretty well. I can't imagine how hard this game would be if we skipped all combat completely and didn't bother getting XP. I feel like that would just lead to a very miserable experience. So I think in some ways I'm glad I didn't do the Steam version, because as a reminder, the Steam version lets you skip all combat, period. So, I mean, I guess if, you, if all you want to do is view the story, that's fine, but... A bit questionable. I think probably... Yeah, that's a big yikes. I, like, if they were going to fix the combat, there's very small things they could have tweaked, and it probably would have been just fine. We talked about a couple of, of those without, like, super changing the game mechanics or anything. But obviously, they're mostly just porting over the equivalency of a ROM, so they're not really going to really enhance it, sadly. I wish they did. It would have been nice, but it is what it is. But yeah, I think from that standpoint, uh, I, also, honestly, I still like this combat more than Trials Combat. Maybe that's a hot take. I just feel like from the standpoint, like... When I'm playing Trials, I never really needed to use other combos unless I'm playing hard mode. This game, I'm like actively using other moves. Like I'm using specials, I sometimes use my abilities. I feel like I'm using like normal power attack versus like uppercut. And I feel like I'm chaining together different, like I'm still doing combo loops, but I do have to change it depending on the enemy. So I feel like I'm more actively engaged with it. So as a player, I definitely have a lot more fun with this game than Trials. Sorry, Trials. The 3D combat movement and the kind of awkward air jumps I don't think are as fun as it is to chain the 2D combat between doing things like the light jabs into thrust into uppercut like the natural progression of cancels 
you got your skill base cancels you got your probably glitch cancels there's just more to it i would just say overall and as i mentioned earlier like bosses seem to sometimes get like an out against your abilities And I think for the most part, like, there are, like, big indicators of where the boss will attack for the most part. But I think also what kind of took me out of, uh, like, Trials of Mana compared to this game, even though they have very similar things, I like Magic having, like, the growing indicator to showcase where they strike. It feels like the power is building up. And I feel like that's, like, an aesthetic choice we didn't really get to see in Trials of Mana. Like, they just did a very bland, blinking red light compared to, like, the rotating spheres of the spells. Or, like, we could see our AI partners charging it up and it increases the distance of their spells. So I also kind of like that mechanic and wish that that had been in Trials comparatively. Which is definitely a shame. It is kind of weird that the PS1 game, I feel, was kind of better than a PS4 era game, question mark, when it came to combat. Because there's definitely a lot of faults with this game. We saw some of the faults with the very ludicrous amount of things to build a golem, and obviously the very overcomplicated crafting process. Like, sure, you could get minor bonuses without too much of an issue, and that's fine. I'm listening to this song and I'm like, this is not the right version of this song. This actually bothers me. This must be the remix version of it. Yeah, like the instruments sound completely wrong to me. So I guess, I guess we will run that risk when we listen to the soundtrack as well. But oh well. Uh, so far difficulty-wise, we got past the, the quote-unquote hard part of the game, which was the tower. The tower, I thought I was gonna die. I did die, but we didn't game over. Oh, Chris Grimm coming in right as we're ending the stream. Sorry, Chris Grimm. But yeah, we are at the very end. We've already stopped playing, but hope you're, you're doing well. But I think it's time to go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube for now. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.